Hello and good evening. I welcome you to the 96 Tracks FFA, hosted by Gyrodos. <coughs> yeah, we will have the... Hey Greg, we will have the first half of the tournament right now. We will play the first... Let me let me calculate really quick. 40, 48 tracks. We will play the first 48 tracks right now. Um, I'm joined by... No one right now, but Zach will join soon, hopefully. Oh, he's there, and I'm I'm muted in Discord. Wait a moment. Hey, I'm al I'm already already live. I did the introduction. Um, yeah, I think I'm streaming. Um, yeah, I'm joined by Zach. Hello. Hi. How's hey. it going? Okay. You should see my screen. Um, I think they are yeah. in the room already. They are twelve. Let's get through the track order real quick. These are the tracks we are playing today, like in order. I think we will have a little break after the first six GPs, but I'm pretty sure we will have play this 12 GPs today. Tomorrow we will continue with the um, 12 DSC um, courses. Yeah, let's jump to the lineup real quick so the players can start because I think they are already 12 in room and they are waiting that they can start. This is the lineup we have. I don't know if this is up to date, but I think most of the people listed here are also playing. Yeah, yeah. this looks updated to me based on what they've said. A good chunk of the best solo players outside of Japan. It should be exciting. Yeah. It's it was surprising to me when you put out the tweet to see only one actual team playing this and 11 people assigned to play all 96. Yeah, true. I was expecting more teams as well here. Yeah. I will let Garudas know he can start. Okay, cool. <clears throat> and then I think I will also switch to Gyros POV for the first race. You have any predictions or anyone you're rooting for in particular? I don't know actually. Honestly, I will, would be expecting maybe Vetox or Gyro. I think they are one of the highest FFAs, the highest MMR plays as well. Or like, I don't know, if Cohen is doing well today, I think like Triss can do really good things tomorrow. Oh, true, true. Yeah, with Triss on your team is always good. Yeah, Cohen was a lot lower than I thought MMR, but yeah, they have the skill to pull something off. Same with, well, Bird is up there, yeah. I think he's a bit underrated in the group though, and yeah. I'm rooting for Iona personally, but I know he's on the lower end of the spectrum in this room. Yeah, they have to pick the tracks in order now, so hopefully everyone will pick MKS. Interesting combo choice for Gyrodos here. Is he on Ink Striker? Yeah, he's on Mario Ink Striker. Oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah, with the track picks guaranteed, you can go very specific with your combos. I'm sure we'll see that oh, on, you know, like... Yeah, I, I wasn't track. even thinking about that. Maybe, yeah, I think I'm too low for the, for this kind of thoughts. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> to I feel like MMR. at least one we might not see it, but uh, yeah, I'm sure as we get going, people will catch on to that. I didn't, yeah, I didn't take that into account at all either. Yeah, that, that's that's kind of cool. So they can have like a strategy on which combo yeah. they play for which race. By the way, can you hear the sound? Okay, because I can hear no sound, but that's normal for me when I host. I can't in call. I don't know okay. if I should be able to. Yeah. Yeah, he's calling as well, but I don't know if it's too loud. I told him he can call, but I can turn him a bit lower. Like this, maybe. Yeah, I told him he can he can call as well. He's streaming on my personal Twitch right now. Um, so he has his POV as well and can upload as, as, as well on the YouTube video later. Gotcha. 
<clears throat> Looks like, yeah, just Gyarados switch combos. We'll see if that helps him or not, or if anyone yeah. else tries to steal that strategy going forward. Okay, we have Ventox in first. I don't think Ventox is streaming, but we have a lot of other POVs <coughs> where, key, where he can switch later to. There's a blue shack coming for Ventox. Oh, it's risky, yeah. Gyarados, it looks like he's in a good spot with the blue coming, but running yeah. this is always a coin toss to an extent to see what happens in the back. Yeah, this looks very good for Gyro right now. If there's no shock, I think he should be able to run this to the end. Yep. Bantok should yeah, that's a, that's a blue shell. Oh, he reds it out. We'll see if he can get over Glider. Oh, yeah, he can. Okay, the shock is okay for him, I think. But Looks everyone like, yeah. will get boxes now. Yeah. Okay, that's unfortunate. He will probably get last even. Mm hmm. Ah. Oh. Really rough stuff. That from red him. from Van Tox was so yeah. unfortunate because he didn't even get to get shocked on Glider. Uh, Van Tox still was able to cruise the first even with the shock and no item just because he had Glider speed. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby making it one race without picking the wrong track. Let's go. I don't know. Did Gyro swip POV? I didn't notice. I wonder, is this? Is he just gonna use this combo? I guess this is also an anti grab track. I didn't think about that. Yeah. I was honestly expecting like someone to go for Streetle on this track. Mm hmm. Yeah. I don't know what the combo is, world record. I remember it being like Iggy Ink Striker at some point, but so I'm sure it's good for anti grab. Yeah, maybe. But he's in a good spot already. Mm -hmm. Back super close. He should be chilling here until a blue double defense. Yeah. Amazing pull. Still looking very good for him. Maybe he's hoping that like people are killing each other on the pack. Yeah, it looks like no one's messed with him. I'm trying to watch the mini-map because I yeah. haven't played this track in a long time. It looks it, like no one's really opting to bang. Yeah. Okay, that's a blue shell. That's late, buddy. I think it's not that big of a lead. I'm not going to pay off. Who's in the front deck I, I can switch to? Let's switch to Danny. He's up there as well. And he's got a no, very dude. chaotic pull. Oh, yeah. another horn in the back from Cone. <laughs> oh, there's stuff horn. That's my egg Greg with triple reds. Oh, Wait, how did I not red it? Wait, what? Oh, I'm not still going to get red okay. with Greg. This game sucks. So is Gyarados. This is an awful pack to be in. Whoever's up front is just going to yeah. hold it at this point. I'm not sure who the blue birdo is, but... All right, well, I just get the most undeserved knives. Like everyone got the piece up there. <sighs> okay. On to Suitsu Canyon, I guess. Man. That's unlucky. Gyarados with two clean runs into three points after two. Yeah. That's unfortunate for him. Yoshi Racer has 24 after two, which is really good. So let's watch the next race from his PV. Oh, sure. Let's get him all these points. Sweet, sweet. I don't know if that's one worth switching for. I know it's a Yoshi Bitty track, but it's also pretty straight, so online yeah. it's pretty good for speed as well. <laughs> There's the water park pick. Like, I think, I don't know the rules exactly, but I think the water park will be picked. It's a reset of the room. I think minus 20 penalty. Oh, true. Yeah, I have to. Some of the new PVs might be too loud. Someone just told me. Thanks for that, Alex. 
Oh, it's water park. No way. Oh my god. I, I, I just realized right now. <laughs> it took us three races. Yeah. Oh my god. Can't believe this guy. Bradley is minus 15, <laughs> correct? Yep. Or no? Yep, minus 15. Any waste all of our time. Yeah, cancel event at this point. Yeah. People can't follow directions. I really guess it was Berta. I guess Bobby says, did it last race and got lucky. He says, so. guys, it wasn't my fault. Games, game yeah. sucks. <laughs> Love to see it. Oh. <laughs> Why am I still a Mario Wig striker? Give me all this. I was, I was gonna talk about how yeah, with ninety six, with the with the with the fatigue, I expected someone to slip up, but I was not expecting a GP one. Uh, yeah, it's actually it's actually over. The, the brain cells in a diamond player. It's. Not many. It, yeah, they are <laughs> unfortunately not existed for ZE. We were talking about it. it's super cool that with the track picks guaranteed, you can kind of pick your combo in advance. It's it's gonna be interesting. I want to see Trainbow with like twelve dry Bowsers. Yes, that would be, that would be I, funny. I can't wait for the last race for all of us to go funky sports. Oh, big blue! Yeah. It's gonna be fantastic. Because even tracks with Yoshi World Records, like, heavy online is probably better. Well, it depends. It depends. I don't know. Because isn't... I think Trainbow is Yoshi on 150. But, uh, yeah. But, but like, online. you have to use so many mini turbos. Exactly. Just... That's what I mean. When adjusting for the for the crazy TT strats, I'm sure that heavy could pay off. Okay, at least everyone joined back instantly, so we don't have to waste too much time here. I'm but. sure that'll be a much more common thing in the base tracks, though, because there's a lot more simple ones compared to the DLC. That is true, yeah. Place, and not as anti-grab heavy, so... Alright, well, have fun, guys, with the cast. Good luck. Good luck. I'm on three after two. It's over for By the way, can, can you send me this, uh, can you, uh, send me this screen after race two? Yeah, so sure, we... sure. Perfect. Thanks, good luck. Okay. Perfect. So we remember Yoshi Raz on 25 or 24? 24. And Gyarados on 3. That's all I remember. Yeah, I, th I think Ventox is on 25 actually. Excited. I love this track, but I no one ever picks it. I played this track like in my last events a bit, and I love it. It's it's just so good. Yeah, it's very forgotten about broken cannon set on this track. Yeah. Also, like in my last event, I just uh, expected or like I I used it this track for the first time. I didn't even knew that was a thing, which got me first, which was really nice. But yeah, let's see what they are doing this race. Everyone back on the meta. Not worrying about any Margos. We can see the white Yoshi in the mini map is backing a bit. Or like Gibson's tree. Yeah, I expect oh. by the end of this lap we'll see quite a big split. Everyone wanting good items at that first set. That's a good pull. Like, interesting to see how long he's holding the bill now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not a track. Oh, he's, de he's definitely way. holding the, oh. the bill one lap for the blue strap. Yeah, he's an amazing spot, especially if we can get something good behind this. Yeah. I think Golden Star or Triple Shrooms would all work out. Yeah, really anything but blue. Yeah, yeah nice. Oh, he's oh, not even wrong. using it there. Okay. Maybe the even smarter play, because the pack's pretty tight. Maybe he yeah, I, I was totally what? expecting him to jump into the Nisk and use the build there. Yeah, not Nisk, oh, in the cut. I think he's pretty close. This might be a good play on his end.
I think he's in a very good position. Yeah. Everything's about to be decided in the last turn of this track. Oh, oh unlucky. Like every every POV we had so far in the three races got a bad race. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's cursed. You die last turn. I mean that's how that track is though. Like everyone's taking that cut. If you don't have protection, you lose. Very interesting early shock too. That was a weird race. I just saw we got a raid. Thanks Google for the raid. I appreciate. Even though it's not even though it's not my stream. I'm excited. Another another very random track. I'm excited to see them play the ones that they're not used to playing every single event. Yeah, I'm also not the biggest fan of TR, but mm -hmm. it's definitely I would say it's still underrated because like it's being hated. But I would yeah. say it's it's a good a good track. Like you you can you can play it. I'm just too lazy to TT it, I guess. That's fair, yeah, I agree. It's not my favorite, but I, I like it for how much it's played. Yes. Oh, <laughs> instant burnout when you switch to cone, unlucky. Oops. But I mean, it's not a bad track to be in the back on at all. It's interesting, I don't know. This track in Sweet Sweet, it's like, I don't know. Certain tracks, you know you know where the shocks are coming for the most part or how they play out, but yeah. I don't really know what's going on on some of these lesser played tracks. So I'm curious to see how they maneuver it or what their game plan is. I would all, always like run these tracks, but as you can see in the back already on the minimap, like there will definitely be a shock. Oh, yeah. Has there even been a blue yet? Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, that Daisy has a crazy breakaway. They might still be fine. I don't even know who the Daisy is. I, I don't either. Paying attention. Oh, ghost in fifth here. I think the Daisy was able to actually dodge the blue. Yeah, the, their lead has even extended since then, so they let me. They would need yeah a second blue and a shock for anything. Take to a look to them if I point. if I have the Daisy POV somewhere. I don't. Oh, there's a shock. Oh god, I think the Birdo dodge in second. We'll see if they're able to catch that Daisy by the line. No one else even in their vicinity. It looks like the Daisy still would hold on to first. Let's see what comes Please, do please Sammy Cohn is getting last again when we switch to his POV. Yep, it's okay, oh, 11. Ah, <laughs> uh, lucky -o with the first. And Greg, nice dodge with the second. Not a great start for our POVs, but I'm sure they'll turn it around. At least just when we're watching them. Yeah, I will get on my second screen every POV right now so I can spy there a bit which spot they are in. And so I can switch during the during the race. What was the link? Let's watch Lakio this next race. MVP right now, after the first oh, GP. Insane. What a great strain of a random track. Yeah. Holy shit. I love this one too. It's it's so... I don't know. I like think... If I had to play it, I wouldn't like it. But... 
from the tracks they are like underplayed, I would say this is one of the best. Alright Yoshi, you can have that, and, and Verda just one trips. Of the what, sorry? One of the best, like from these tracks. Bobby, you can go. Yeah, I don't know, this feels like... I'm gonna contest, bro. Almost like anti-grab code circuit, but... Nice job, Tay USA! I don't know, I think... Thank I you! This, I don't know, everyone just... Okay, and thank play. you! Wow! <laughs> wow. Very hard to read mini-map as well. I'm guessing the Mario's in first over there. I'm pretty sure, Not sure this is... that is either. Garo does maybe? It is. Oh, true. He was using Mario either, yeah. or earlier. Let's actually switch to him. Okay, he's in second right now, behind Yoshi Racer. Oh, with the leaf tires too, going full of try hard. I love to see it. Sure. Oh god, yeah, the pack's insane, insanely split. Well, they'd be very lucky to have nothing happen on this lap three. Expecting at least a shock, maybe a blue as well. Okay. I don't know. I think if a blue shell is coming, it should come right now. So I think Gyro, yeah, mm -hmm. he's he's chaining. They might be safe even with the shock. They're pretty close. Yeah, it looks like our POVs are gonna have a good race. And we're able to steal the first, it looks like, but still, nice two for Gyarados here. Yeah, Yoshi Racer was going wide to let Gyro pass and still securing the third place, which is a nice play, I would say. Yeah, yeah good for him. I mean, wouldn't have expected the first uneventful run to be on this track, but I guess we'll take it. What are your thoughts on this track? Uh, wait a moment, I... Okay, Toad's Harbor. Um... It's difficult. I'm. I would say I'm happy if it's if it's picked, because it's just one of these tracks. Like it's like played in one of fifteen events or something. Yeah, it's. I have a hard time hating any uncommon track, but this yeah. one. I think they they there are some tracks, but mm -hmm. I yeah. won't say it right yeah. now. Fair. <laughs> I don't know. Unless it's like Baby Park, I have a hard time hating anything that's not common. <laughs> this one, though, not a huge fan because, you know, anything with a long straight on the end is going to be chaotic. But let's see how chaotic it is in this event, I guess. This track's pretty long. Another one I could see a small group of players opting to bag by the end of this lap, but it is also a runner, so we'll see how that plays out. I was about to say there's one track, this is un uh, which is uncommon, that I don't like, or where I'm sad when it's going to be picked, but I'm pretty sure, uh, sure your team likes this track, so I'm not saying <laughs> it right now. <laughs> is it APO? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's valid. That track is very random. I, I cannot hate that opinion. I, I mean, I, I won a, a land tournament on this track, but it was just uh -huh. pure luck because I somehow put triple reds in second. Yeah, no, it, it's very luck based. I, I, I'm i kind of with you there, but you know. I, 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 I still respect teams like when they have like one main track, which is a bit uncommon. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Kind of fun, I think. Oh, there's the shock. Gyarados choosing to run just about every yeah, race. I, so I think far. not many persons. Dodge, so Gyro should be fine if he's getting the double box mm -hmm. here. Unfortunately, going to be in the pack. A lot of opportunity for people around him to pull triple items, but it looks like he actually has a good amount of space here. Greg is in a great position right here. He should be able to take over second. If he's able to keep this room in pocket. Oh, never mind. We'll see what he's able to pull at the last set here. Let's see if I find someone who's in the front right now. Yeah, that's looking better. Um, let's see if Conte able to avoid Yoshi's greens. Let's see if he'll be a menace or just hold. Looks like he's gonna piece. Should oh, be good. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Oh no, it's it's. I think it's the the caster curse. Like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Hey, we we have one good race on MCA, but that's about all we've got. Looks like Nietzsche and Emery up there in top two. Not who I would have predicted. But yeah, definitely. Very good players in their own right. But we are only... Is that race four? Oh, no, that was after the crash. Yeah. Race six. Only six yeah. races into 96, so I guess we're not very close. Anything can happen. I would say every player like in this event is like very good on his own. Yeah. And is very Anyone's up on the playing. MMR sheet. I think the yes, only two persons that are a bit lower <laughs> than average are Danny and and Greg. But I would say they both could be higher if they play more. Yeah, they both have a good amount of high div war experience and yeah. play with a lot of good people. So yeah, they I could see either one of them keeping up in this room. Cone. I guess in the back should probably pull a shroom and run here, but expect at least you know four or five baggers by the end of lap one here. Yeah, and with that, I guess we'll see him just try to get some coins. Luckily, there's a ton on the back half of yeah. this track. I also really like this trick when it's get picked in events or in wars. Mm -hmm. But I also think this is one of the few tricks that like gets picked less after the DSC. Oh yeah, it's it's I'm still not... picked often, but I would say like there are much more tricks you can pick now with dropping yeah, spots. Yeah, it definitely was more common. Oh, true, especially in wars, it's not it's not super. Um, common. I also, yeah, I'm personally not a huge fan just because the ending is yeah, that's very true. tight and hectic, but I see how people like it. It's definitely a very reliable bagger, I think. Also drafter, yeah, for shrimming up there at the beginning. I would say Kona's in a good position here. If he somehow can avoid oh, yeah, the green shots from... Oh, he's, he's got right out. I think still, yeah, if he changes this and gets some more triple shrooms, he's he's in a decent spot. Yoshiro can do some work with that plant, take some people out before the cut. Looks like Lucky is bringing a red shell back to bottom two, probably going to drag some people down with him. Finally, Cone pulls some protection. Guess he's at least able to get a couple spots here. Hopefully. Yeah. Good decision to hold the shrooms. I think that's gonna be Nietzsche in first again. Oh. I could be wrong. That's so unlucky actually for him. Oh, and that good avoidance there on the blue, yeah. at least getting another spot. Nietzsche is actually running this room right now. Like up yeah. 12 on second place. Good for them. They're probably the player I was the least familiar with in this group, but they're. Um, yeah, they're showing okay, off. I do think you, I've seen their name in the finals of Are you chat, able so. to see the the FFR chat? Yes, you are. Like, they're going crazy right now. The chat is funny. Oh, I haven't even opened it. <laughs> oh, it is very toxic. I'm going to put that away. <laughs> yeah, I think oh, we yeah, haven't watched a single a race from... Yeah, no, we have watched anyone. Do we but, have Luckio's POV? Yeah, I think Luckio and Danny are like the two we haven't watched that much. Okay, yeah, let's see some Danny Shy Guy Falls action. Okay. I love this track. Even though it's kind of insane. I can get a box. This is another one where kind of everything is going to be decided lap three because 
If someone shocks and everyone loses their items to take the cut, then it's kind of over, but we'll see no if there is a late shock, or I don't know. There's at least usually some chaos here after the glider. This guy's about to be in for a world of yeah. this bird has got something in pocket too. I can already see Danny streaming through the cut with, yeah, with his triple greens. Mm -hmm. See if he tries to take out Berta or just wait for the blue. Okay, yeah, Berta has a good amount of space. Yeah. I think Danny is still in, in a very good spot here. Oh, yeah. But he's still opting to back spam. Probably he's back spamming here again. No. Yeah. Ooh. Going That's tight nice. there. Gonna cost him. Still option to go Christ. forward here. I think it's the right play. You might be able to pull some good shrooms here. The distance. Not gonna get me. It's an interesting pull, but I don't think like it's good for Danny. I wonder if he's gonna opt to do anything funny with this bomb and mess people up on the cut. Oh nope, just gonna place it there. Honestly, if there is no shock, he's in a really good spot. Yeah. With the distance of first, he can pull maybe even soon. triple shroom. And maybe there's another another blue. Very true. That one did hit like triple like reds. Are you fucking me, dude? Oh, triple reds in third though. Are all three gonna go for him? Oh, okay. good job dropping out here. Okay. okay. He doesn't get fired, which is really good for him. Oh, this is such oh, a good great pull. Great pull for him. It's a good pull. Able to keep those rooms concealed so nobody tries to mash them out. Yes, got one too. Hopefully, can be able to secure a third here. No, banana! No, dude! Oh no, defense! Oh my god! That's really unlucky. Still that's gonna go on, man. Six. Yeah, that's that's six. still okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Fuck. I would actually like to see a replay because I was pretty sure he had a red shell, but I think the red got fired like one second before he got redded. Did he? I thought he just had um. Oh no! True, he put a single shroom. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, he, he just he had put quad a single shroom. Yeah. Yeah, that was just unfortunate. If he gets defense there, he can keep that third, but okay. still a pretty good race. I think Gyarados got first there. Not sure where he is overall, but he needs that after that. Those early yeah, he got some unlucky races. Did they post the screen from before the crash? Yes, oh, wait a moment. Okay. okay, yeah, you have it. Perfect. No, no, I can't right now. Yes, I don't know. <sighs> well. Oh. Quite a hard runner here. If Luckyo can stay out in first early and not get past in this cut, he should be good. Oh, gonna get bumped out though. I think this is also one of this, uh, these tricks. You barely see it anim anymore. Like in wars yeah. and, and, and in events. Definitely, I'd say one of the tracks that got hit hardest by the DLC, like yeah. you said for TM. I would say this one and TikTok from the runners. Oh. Yeah, that's very true. TikTok was one I was happy about because I just have skill issue on it. But... Yeah, same. <laughs> but it definitely, it went from like one of the most common to like non existent. Like... Yeah. Holy fuck, man. Not sure. I think those people are barely... They might be barely at shock distance there. We'll see if anything comes into play. But it looks like everyone's just gonna try to push up to the front for now. You better chain that red. Like, look at his fucking pulls, bruh! Like, it's ridiculous. Lucio's race here is kind of going to be dependent on how much death happens in front of him, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Usually, the track seems pretty calm in that department until the last <sighs> turn, so we'll see if he's able to catch up. Like, after the glider, there's usually yeah, a big exactly. mess. 
He's opting to do motion, so maybe that'll get another spot or two. I don't know. I've never even tried it on this track. This is not a good pull for him. Of course. Uh, yeah, yeah, and he's just getting lost here. Yeah, unlucky fire really does absolutely nothing for him when everyone has dodges or trails. Yeah, anyone we watch is getting v nothing at last set that they need. Actually, Gyro is in second overall right now, like after his push. Oh, so. really? Of, of course, like, it's the first two races are not counted, where he got, like, I think, last and 11th. Oh yeah, that's going to put him out of stronger deficit, but in the grand scheme of this event, he's still pretty close to the yes. top. And now, I, maybe we can see like a lot of scooties here. Let's watch... Oh, for DS? Gyro I'm sure, for yeah. We race. might see like eight Streetles or something. Are you a Dolphin Shoals enjoyer? I am, but also this is one of the tracks. Like Before the DSC, I would say this was maybe my favorite track. I still like like it, and I'm happy when it gets picked, but I'm not picking it myself anymore. Gotcha. Yeah, it might be. It's definitely my least favorite base game track, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, a lot of Streetles. <laughs> the, the most people we've seen switch yet, but that makes sense. It's a very cut yes. and dry Streetle track. Oh, scary. Oh, but very he, lucky to yeah. not get trailed there. still fire behind him? I think it might be gone now. Yeah, I think it's gone. That straight is like the prime spot everyone likes to mash it. Goes for the snipe and misses. But he's still in a good position. Like, I, I don't know right now who Exotic is. Exotic is Cone. Oh, okay. Oh, unlucky oh, he's getting blued in second there. Gyro can still keep the, 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 the drift, what is really good for him. Yeah, he's chilling. The pack honestly isn't that spread out for this track. Yeah, let's see how many builds there are right now for the Black 10. Maybe like one? Okay, there's one. Okay, okay, there's three builds. Oh, there's three, okay. Oh, I didn't see the one in the front. Oh, yeah, that guy's going to be coming up. Yeah, I think he used it in six or something. Oh, two shrooms, we'll see. Does Bobby have anything offensive to ruin Giro's day here? It looks like he's just also holding shrooms for the cut, so it should be peace in top three here. Yeah, I think that's just... Oh, maybe? Nice. Yeah, I think Giro's getting... Okay, he's still getting second. Nice. Still got second. Oh, that's a huge gap to four there. Good spot for Nietzsche. Okay, our top player is just pulling away there a bit. Yeah. Again, without factoring in the first two races, if anyone was not um, watching, we had to reopen because someone picked the wrong track, race three, but it's just uh, two races. I think either Van Tocht or Yoshira was MVPing at that point. I keep uh, trying to guess what track is next, and I'm realizing how little I know about the game. Yeah. I know Mount Vario comes after Electrodrome. <laughs> oh, true. Yeah. Dark Cut. This is one of the no tracks finish. I really like. I would even say this is one of my favorites, but I still never pick it. Yeah. A lot of these base game tracks that are good, but it's hard to justify picking them now. Yeah. I think there are some runners, like, of course, like DK Jungle, Hyrule, or Adapts, who just get picked, like, nearly every war, or also every event. But, like, the drafters, I would say there are, like, many more drafters in the DSC. 
Yeah, there's a lot of good drafters in Shroom Spot tracks within like the cities. This one is strange where, yeah. We'll see how the people that opt to run, if they benefit from that, because this is one where front presence doesn't typically matter too much, even on lap three, just because whoever has those high place rooms just wins. He's up to take the cut. See if that pays off. Still a lot of time to get blued here, but I guess he just wanted separation from the pack. Very good pull here. Assuming yeah. he'll just hold this as long as he can and not let... Um, lucky or no, he has a bomb. I think the red also went for the daisy, which is really good because she should have only one item right now. Mm -hmm. And man, pack is insanely spread out. I'm sure we'll see if no shock heroes is fired, but it's, it's gearing up for a lot of people to start. I'm, I'm surprised the blue choice is not coming. Like, there wasn't no blue choice oh, so far this race. You're right, there hasn't. Oh, there it oh, is. Oh, there, there it is. <laughs> and and, oh, the, shock, and yeah. the shock getting rid of his bomb. Yeah. Typical Electrodrome fashion. We'll see. Oh, Ooh, okay. it was too late. Yeah. He still has one more set here, though. If enough people pass, he can get shrooms. Hopefully that ghost is not... He, he needs he needs to shroom now. Like, yeah. he's in four coins. Okay, this is good. Oh, very good pull from him. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, not so... with, still no protection. But he might be okay here. With the next one not connected. Well, I'm actually surprised he still gets a top six spot oh. out, out of this. Yeah, great salvage by him. Everyone was right on his tail there. Just like that, he's overtaken Nietzsche for the MVP. I think um, I think Nietzsche's up either thirteen or fourteen on him, like um, in the first two races. So yeah, still down a bit, but he's just, he's separating himself from most of the players. You were right, it's Mount Warrior. Yeah. I, I also think I'm pretty sure what the special cup is. But oh, no, yeah, I, 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 actually, I, actually I, I just don't. I know three tracks out of the four. You know the last one? Yeah, I know Cloud Hop, Bone Dry, and. Oh, Bowser's Castle. Uh, yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah, and 8 though. Nice. Honestly, I don't like driving this track. It just feels like so punishing. If you like do one mistake, I feel like after the three section you are out. Very true. Another one where bumps and stuff come into play yeah. and can ruin your race. It's also a very strange track. Very, very running heavy, but also like lap three can become chaos very quickly. Yeah. If you get like shocked or blue before the boost panel section. Or even uh, after the collider. I would say out of the running heavy tracks, the shock is most common on this track, maybe. Yeah, it's it's classified as a runner, but it's also yeah very common for people in the back to make big pushes at the end and catch up. So. I'm just switching to Danny because Danny should be still in the top somewhere. Really? Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> I'm switching to Danny and he just gets ready. <laughs> Unlucky. If he can get a, get a single. Okay. Yeah, but everyone is dying for some reason and he's still like the bird yeah, very close oh behind, the, behind the pack. And a boomerang, let's see if he can outlive. And fire, okay. Yeah, this is typical Mount Wario. If you can get the, the trail good, was maybe. unlucky. I, I was thinking he was doing a really great job avoiding items so far. Yeah, he was. Oh! Uh, but yeah. Cone dying with oh. the red very hard to react to. Look, like another typical casting race here. And yeah, no death last turn. A little bit surprising. I'm gonna leave Danny with the last place. Nichi got first again. 
Oh, nice. He's up there. Cause like I said, he's plus 16 or 17, and Gyarados is plus 3. So we should have a nice lead. I'm not sure. I'm guessing Bobby was towards the top before the DC, so he might be right neck and neck with yep. Gyarados right now. All right. Cloud top cruise. Stand up for lounge. Uh, good luck. Simply, I would never can up for lounge. I think we didn't watch Cohen that often. Oh yeah, let's get Cohen for a race. I haven't opened the chat at all. Is anyone watching this? Rooting for anyone in particular? I think we are on, on a lot of these guys. On, on the, we have a lot of year, but the chat isn't that active. Okay, it's so opting uh, to go for the clients. This track is one that um, definitely became a bit less baggable with the um, removal of target shocking. Yeah, true. Because once the runners get to basically this glider here on lap three, they're kind of home free. But we'll see. It still, it still has pretty good shocks though for the rest of the race. So we'll see. I don't know. There's still, it's not over for anyone in the back. But Cohen is like in a great spot right here. Oh, yeah. If he Did doesn't get hit out soon. Let's see if Emery decides to back in this back spot oh, here. It looks that's, like. Oh, oh, that's so unlucky. The, the perfect spot there. Really hard to avoid with that uphill slope. few people back here but no one choosing to really get into that shock range maybe with the glider here we'll see them pull some good stuff here oh what a great pull yeah bobby oh no i thought that was i think shock, he's but... should chain here yes because the pack is very tight mm -hmm. I'm never sure where to use a bill in this situation, especially with the pack this tight. Let's see what Cone chooses to do. Personally, I would use it right here. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Just tough because, yeah, Power Item's not as fast compared to the default players once we hit these boost panels. But he should. Yeah, clearly no shock going. He should be safe. Oh, great reaction time there. Oh, oh yeah. He's, he's getting a good race. Yeah, nobody's messing with him. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh great oh, oh great time yeah that was well great time cone. i am getting bombed there 100 times same out of 100. <laughs> maybe, maybe you won lucky time yeah the plant boost there was pretty cool too it kind of shot him out of the way yeah. finally seeing someone we're watching avoid the death at the end yeah good overall play for cone i don't remember how he died in the middle there, but good recovery. I think he got back spammed by Emery. Oh, true, true, true. And then he had to go for coins again. All right, we're just about to wrap up. We have one more race until we yep. do our first event length of races, which is what, like one eighth of our full FFA here. I would say this track gets like picked kind of often in Ross and Lounge, at, yeah. least, at least in my MMR range. Same, I mean, when you play at the more um, French heavy hours, definitely a yeah. lot of bone dry happening. I don't really see why, but <laughs> I don't want to hate this much on this track. Yeah, yeah, I'm at the point where I don't hate any track that much, but um, definitely not one I would pick. But I, I see, I, I see how the driving is is fun. I just it tends to get a bit crazy after last set there. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm getting 
hit out way too often after the last two sets. Seeing Cone trying to get back to shock distance here. Ooh, avoiding a bomb because of it. See if it pays off with this. Oh, ball. yeah. Definitely he does. He just got shock a shot. Distance. And he's in seventh. Oh, God. What's he going to do? I think he can just chain here. Uh, yeah, yeah, I assume that's what. Yep. And the blue's going to hit as well. He does really like just two player timing. behind him. But he should be in first here. And yeah, very another oh, no, shoe is like honestly unlikely. Yeah. I didn't see who dodged exactly, but yeah, slim chance there was another one. Girdas having another <laughs> shock. I guess he didn't get blued, but another shock while running. A horrible pull there. But this really depends if third tries to press him for that second. I know what Gyro has in pocket, and I think Cone might die here. Oh, God. Oh, okay, Gyro, Gyro is... Too. Okay, he's... Can Cone still clutch a second here? Yeah. Oh, Cone still died, but I, I was honestly expecting Gyro to to stop on him. At least yeah. I would have done this. But, like, maybe this is the reason because I'm a gold or plat player. Yeah, same. I, I would have been <laughs> mashing there. I mean, I know Cone would have got toxic in chat if he were to get rid of yeah. him because he pulled a coin in second. But lucky for him, he still was able to recover nicely there and have a nice room for not uh, getting a drift. And yeah, another thing is, it looks like Cone is ha about half of Gyarados' points right now. But like, like I said, we're only one day through it. It honestly doesn't really matter yet. <laughs> Like it matters, but there's still seven bogeys to come back. Yeah, I would still not write Cone off because of the switch tomorrow. Oh, true. And he has the. I think, of course, Cone is a good player, but I would say Triss is still a big boost. Yeah, I think Triss is currently, you know, maybe 1500 of MR above anyone else in yeah. the USA. So. I would say there's a reason. Like, he's still. I would say even like top three Western players. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't argue that. Top I think, four, top four. Yeah. Like, he's the fourth best European player. Uh, not European, like, Western player. That's interesting. I'm curious. Oh, I guess the caster's command doesn't work. But, oh, it doesn't show us on screen. But I'm Zach from UB. And uh, I, I have it with, with auto S, so it's caster. Oh, it worked. Yeah, I, 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 I was so lazy to rename the common. Gotcha, gotcha. I would say Bowser's Castle is definitely underplayed. I agree. I, I enjoy it. It's, I know it's one Triss wishes he was here for. This is his track, but yeah, not not too many people are are vying to play this one. Yeah. At least in my rooms, mainly like Spanish speaking players. I feel. I enjoy the new Barca Castle even more, but I have the feeling like in the first two weeks of the last wave, it got played like so often, and now you just mm -hmm. don't see it anymore. Now it's just gone. Yeah, I think. I know for me, it's just, that track is like, with all the crazy tight uh, sections, it's kind of, it feels a little bit too chaotic <laughs> online for me sometimes. That made me stop picking it, but I don't know. I can see why people would like it. Oh. Unlucky. Unlucky trimming into those greens. Unlucky. I can see in the front someone switch to Tanuki Mario. Let me, can oh, yeah. I find out who it is? No, I can't. They're gone, it looks like. It, my guess? Oh no, you said we can't see it. I was going to say Luckyo, but yeah. now I see the Daisy. I, yeah, but Luckyo is our fast POV right now. Oh yeah, we'll see. Three. Oh, with the Shroom too. Will Berta kill his race to let him... Uh... Oh, he's letting Gero pass. Very smart. And the blue coming in. Lucky it could have a really good race here. Maybe even first. Oh, never mind. The Tanuki is Nichi, by the way, yeah. Oh, nice. Another, another first times. place for Nichi. 
Yeah, Nietzsche is popping off more than I think anyone expected. Oh, I just saw... Did Gyro got first on Bone Dry? Yeah, he got. I forgot. Yeah, I would oh, say yeah, Ni Nietzsche and Gyro are like up there together. Let's see, because he's down four... Let me check. They might even be tied right now. Let me just get that since it's important. Um, okay, so Nietzsche is plus 13 on Gyarados. So I think Gyarados is up one right now. Or, yeah, Gyarados is up one right now combined. Nice. And we have Berta picking the wrong track again. Maybe receiving another minus 15 penalty if it gets picked. Wait, was the first repick Berta as well? That would be so yes. funny. <laughs> it was. It's... People in chat are saying he's doing it because he is mad, but I do not know what's going on. Okay, now this is what I'm excited for. Being on the only team that picks this, I've played this track more than almost <laughs> anyone. But... We didn't even know he picked BC. Nice. Yeah, this is a track... A lot of people view it as a very hard bagger, but it's really one where you kind of just gotta run in kind of those back middle spots and get lucky. Yeah. It's really Definitely. about whoever pulls the bills from the cannon kind of win here. Yeah. If you are stuck in bottom two, you're probably all going to be gone by the time you get there. Yeah. I feel like it doesn't even matter in which spot you are, as long as you're not like in the top spots. You can pull True. crazy items everywhere. Yeah, I mean, I've seen my team do it. It can be ran if you do get a nice breakaway, but it, it does come down <laughs> to luck at that point, because there's usually going to be some bills dodging or something on lap two or three. Yeah, honestly, that was the wrong decision, decision by Lucky Ill to let Brother pass, just because Lucky Ill was that much faster. Yeah, he did subject himself to the pack at that point. It was it was unfortunate he didn't get the chain when doing that as but well. Maybe he gets like a okay a triple rats. Oh, oh, not gonna help himself a ton, but gonna mess up a lot of people's races here. Except when they all pull stars in front of him, I guess. Yeah, so getting the short end of that cannon set. Hopefully, luckily it doesn't matter too much. It's really just going to be what he pulls here at the cannon. Oh, let's Second. switch oh, to. Oh. Yeah, he's dead. Let's switch to cone. Oh, he didn't oh, dodge. A bit ahead. He got. Is lucky you have a delay. Oh, unfortunate there. I just wanted to switch to Cone because I was thinking like there's no way he's not winning this race. And now, and now Lucky was up there. I don't know how that happens, but I think he That's got it. That's kind kind of crazy. Yeah, Lucky. Well, six still a lot better than I was expecting for him yeah. falling off the glider there. Hi, Nat. What's up? Hello. I absolutely Hello. did not wake up from a nap. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just for your information, Ned, like the points aren't this aren't the total points because we had to reopen the room after race two. Because there was oh, a I love, we love reopening the room. Someone Let's may go. have repicked by on race three. Oh yeah. And oh, there's the oh, next person who doesn't know the, the track the track order. They went the wrong order. Yeah. yeah, they went to the egg cup. That's unfortunate. Hopefully we don't have to reopen again. Oh uh, uh oh. It's I think yeah, we've already had four people pick the wrong track so far, but only one time it's actually got picked. You know what? This better than what I thought. <laughs> I'll i I'll take that. That's a W. So yeah, we have Yeah, there's Two races missing. Gyarados is up pretty big right here. I know he is. He was LVP before the crash, though, so he's down about like 10 to 15 on a lot of players. Okay, okay. Gyar Gyarados, he, he's on his. He's on his rise. He's on his rise. We've seen Gyro pull off M many a thing before, so would not surprise me if he just keeps the momentum going.
from after the crash. I do. He did burn out. We didn't really get to see it, but Iona did switch to inward for this race, so I hope he wins. I don't know about the true combo. But also, also cows, I was going to say, starting with the retros in this game. And we're not starting strong because this track is a bit, it's, it's not good. It's not yeah. good, but it is what it is. I think 200 players like it. And inward players. Two very um, questionable groups of people. But... <laughs> yeah, what? what? <laughs> I, f I feel like I've been, I feel like I've been called out here. <laughs> oh, that's very unlucky. See, someone with a massive breakaway, which seems to happen a lot here, as the pack likes dragging each other down. The blue is actually unlucky for Vendox in first. I was just about to say, like, this track is fine if you somehow survive the first lap, as mm -hmm. Vendox did. But he's he, getting he's literally should be fine. Yeah, Honestly, that, with, that... Oh, go ahead. with the lead, with the lead Ventox side, I'm surprised there's no shock at the moment. But we probably would be seeing that like right about now. There was one to happen. Unlucky cow there for Cone. Oh, and the steal. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Collapsed. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Oh, he switched oh, the guy right. back. Oh, Ventox is hanging on to that first despite the blue. Good for him. I know this is a common track up in tier A. I'm sure these people have a lot more experience on it than us tier D players do. <laughs> or CD. What's next? I forget. Is it Cheap Cheap? No, it's GBA Mario. Oh, sorry. RMC. What a lovely track. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna say we had you had some solid tracks for base game, and then we we start off with the retros and. It's, it's, a, it's a bit you got you got to weave through a bit a couple of the stinkers in the game. Dude, the before. shell cup is so bad now that I'm looking. At. I, I think mean, I like of, RMC, but like it's so this this whole cup is insane. A lot of people I think have shell cup as like one of the worst cups in the game. It's I, and I wouldn't blame them for it. I actually disagree. Like what, what, I I just love cheap cheap. I think that's very. Stereotypical German of you. I think RMC is my favorite betting trick because I think you can just run it every time. At least into your CD and it just it just works because like if there's a blue or a shock, mostly it's on the boost panel section. Mm -hmm. And lastly, like I know turnpike isn't great, but I would still say it's over overhated. I feel like it's adequately hated, but to each their own. I, I like that this is your favorite bagger, though, because you don't bag it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like, it's... Oh, like, Gyro got uh, such a good ghost pull here with the, with the star. Oh, you got a star. Nice. And like, that place as well. Looks like he's gonna... Oh, no, okay, just going for a coin. It's not gonna chain or anything. Let's actually switch to Danny here. Yeah, let's see what's going on in the back. Is he gonna choose to go in the extension already? Okay, no, no gonna hold the bill. Probably gonna be greedy and hold this until lab three, but. Or well, until he gets oh. shot. That is scary yes. having about eight people in the back here, though. Maybe he's like using it here in this cut. Okay, he's just okay. Oh, but look at the pack now. He might actually so be nervous. safe. I mean, Don't he might shocked. get starred, but there's there's clearly no shock in play. No, uh, pack is so tight to the point where. Yeah, he might be chilling, he's avoiding that fine. fire. Good on him. Him and Vantok's gonna build okay, it. Okay, three bits. Three, three bits. That's Cone, yeah. the last one. Gotcha. Outlining Vantox's build there. Oh, the horn from Nietzsche, though. Oh, getting Vantox, but oh. not Danny. Oh, triple red. Oh, reds. triple red's behind him. He's, he's fine, though. Oh, he's he fine. Yeah. Oh, he's the whole room. Oh, the red actually. I think I just the whole room. Oh, oh, the the whole room. <laughs> So lucky. But he, 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 st he, st he still had, uh, did a great job with avoiding Oh yeah, very good. He avoided so much. Gyarados with another first <laughs> as well. Iona climbing the ranks too, and now in the mid-pack. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, winning, I think like, I actually griefed friend. the entire room with that ball. Won, that you, is fucking hilarious. Board. It's Holy his shit! He's like the highest MMR. I forgot if this is a streetle track or not. I'm gonna assume not. Honestly, I wasn't expecting that guy would like break away this hard. 
Uh-huh. Because of course he has the highest MMR. But like, there are so many good players in this room. Yeah, like Vantox, Berta have higher peaks, and every lot of people are just very good and have done well in just about every FFA. Um, yeah, I guess I we mean, go keep in mind he is. Oh, go ahead, sorry. Maybe it's a testament to just how much Gyarados knows base game. I feel like if we go into DLC, Gyarados Oops. might start slipping behind because... I don't know. D- DLC's That's not been out for too long. I mean, I know Gyarados has a lot of game knowledge on the tracks, but I feel like that there, there have been people in this little collective group who have practiced the DLC a bit more, so... I- I think that's a good point. I think Gyro is even more practiced on the DLC than he is on the base game. But I would I think you're right into where most of these people are more comfortable on those back 48 tracks to where they're probably more even. Whatever. But he because he, he's more of a freak who's TT'd everything. Like mm-hmm. he's getting advantages on tracks people just aren't used to. Absolutely. As we see Cheap Cheap being picked the streel from top two, Gyarados and Iona. Both taking advantage of the of the underwater stats, so... Yeah, Iona had an advantage here, considering his team picks this track every event. Maybe he can hold a nice run here. Yeah, he's getting ratted early. He's just gonna coin up a bag, most likely try and play for the shock. Yeah, I don't really know what the play is here, or how great of a position these people are back here, because there's not like a specific great shock spot on this track that I know of. Not not, not a great shock spot, but realistic, but a lot of good uh, catcher potential. And there's the shock. Dude. Yeah, not being able to dodge, quite unfortunate for him. However, he is before set, so. Mm-hmm. Four streams, n- not yeah, the greatest pole, not the greatest of poles, but the pack is extremely tight, so. You, He's probably just going to be Well, he gets, he gets another hitbox item. here, so maybe not... Yeah. yeah At least like he has coins, worse. unlike most people in front of him. Oh, the horn from Pankai. Oh. Messing up his momentum a bit there. Lucia out. <laughs> Yoshiro with the slow trail. We're trying <laughs> to slow trail with the red shell. Lord. It looks like Lucky yeah, getting re- <laughs> blued in first, giving Iona a bit of a breakaway there. We'll see if he's able to hold it past. That, the, the last tight section where everything seems to go wrong. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, that's Definitely. Dan, you know, just trying to make up some ground. Uh, a four. Well, kind of, he had the option to make it lap, lap two, but unfortunately getting styled there. Invincibility for the, for the final bit of the race. The but... coming in there. Yeah. Ace. Be, right, being right. able to just to scrape up ninth. Iona getting first. Yeah, I called it. This is his track. He's he's chained a few good spots together since he switched to inward that one race. He's up in the pack now. Has plenty of time to keep moving up. All our opposites of both Gyarados and Iona, who both switched to street, or one getting first, the other one getting last. But now... Oh, Gyarados got last? Yeah. So that opens the door a little bit, even though he still has quite a lead. We see Yoshira switching to inward as we have <laughs> one, one of the big... Of, of many inward tracks. Oh god, is he gonna be the only inward I want? Danny picking random back to back races. I'm really hoping we get his pick and it's the right track. That would be Imagine. awesome. That would be so the funny because of... like every time someone picks a different track, like Danny is going mad in the in the shed. <laughs> oh, are we getting it? No. So oh, no. What do you guys think? How many inwards are we about to see? Iona's probably I... switching again. I would is probably switching, switching again. I think I think Gero will switch and Gero will slip. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't think he's ever played in one. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Oh least. my God! There's so many more than I expected. There's five in top six. I I would feel like I would just switch to a heavier outward combo. Yeah, all five of them up here in top six. It looks like people with running potentials. I mean, they need that. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean. I get it though, even if you're not comfortable, this track is super simple line-wise, and just inward backs are extremely overpowered when you have to drive in this tight line in between the cars. Yeah, def- definitely. It's, g- it's going to be a case of who is it, whoever was in that top six, who's going to be able to take advantage of just the items that they pull, because a lot, a lot of the item play does genuinely just get le- left to the tight line, so... Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I like, know like Yoshi Racer is a fantastic player, but I think you can 
pretty curious here right now that he's not an involved main. Yeah, mm. I mean, clearly struggling to move out of the way of some of these trucks, which is difficult. Your maneuverability on inward is a lot more limited. Well, he is, ha he is hanging in the back, still, still the high likely chance of the shock oh, yeah. uh, being in play. That Gyarados, yeah, that was Gyarados with the shock, he's just able to pull it out, uh, chained it into the items, which is fair enough, he's, he's going to be wanting to catch up now with uh, the shock. Yoshiro, um, just do, trying to do his best, he's not on a great amount of coins at the moment, but there is a second blue. He's in it? Yeah, coins aside, he's in a great spot with items here. If he can save this invincibility for when it matters at the end, then he should be at least securing a mid spot. Oh, good reaction. Great, great reaction, though. But brilliant reaction time, but unfortunate Nana being placed high. And the plant as well could mess over the likes of Gyarados if he wants yeah. to go tight. But now Gyarados is just popping it anyways. Oh, the fire. Gonna choose to throw it forward. Lucky for Yoshira. Oh, gonna be an absolute Ooh. mess here. Oh, getting Ooh, them both. It benefits. Oh, it benefits. clutching up the first? Am I saying that too this early? This is actually so oh funny. Oh my god. Great, great playing from him there. Not messing with Gyarados because he would have got redded if he did. Gyarados getting last again. Now, um, I believe Nietzsche being up 13 before the DC, they're only Gyarados' lead is only at 4 points right now. Which is kind of crazy considering how much he was up just 2 races ago. Able to take advantage of playing uh, inward as well with the tight line, and it wasn't even the backs that secured him the spots. Yeah. It was it was it was the throws forward as well, which I, I don't know. I feel like I feel like throw, even throwing items forward can be a little bit different on inward with yeah. some of the things you have to factor. Yeah, with the way he turned. Yeah, I don't I don't know if inward factored into his. I mean, it clearly changed. It put him in the back early, but I mean, it worked. It looked like an inward top two there at least. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, I, lo I love to see that. That that like I said, that's the most fun part of this event, getting the track specific combos when you know what you're about to play. I wonder okay, if guys, what do you what do you think? How many persons are running this track? Running? Uh, yeah. Zero to start, I'd say, honestly. I, I, I think is, then you will run. The real question is who touches the lucky characters on the left before the set? Is that our first first place on the cast? I think it might. Maybe yes. Yeah. How long will it take for someone to drive? Okay, I, I, I will search for Danny because I'm pretty sure he's running. There's quite a few people running. Fair, fair enough. Fair enough. You have Bobby. You have Lucky. Emery as well. Up here. I'm sure, a lot of people are probably just tired of the other players in this room trying to get away. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to drive one race peacefully. Yeah, exactly. You have 95 other races to <laughs> die in the pack. Oh, getting two people with that smart pound. Okay, this is insane. I've never seen four people run dry dry. I mean, if, if they want to make it work, they're, they're, they're going to make it work. They're definitely building a break at the moment, but of course dry dry being one of the most hot reliant tracks with the amount yeah. of shroom spots and golden Let's spots as well. What the, let's keep track of yeah. Danny, Lucky, Emery, and Ichi. We'll see how they're able to perform with eight people back there. Oh, of course. There is the first. Going. There is the first uh, potentially two shocks. As how this track normally goes is uh -huh. th th there's n there's never just one shock. Nietzsche opting to back out there. Yeah, that shock really not mattering because we're gonna see the blue a blue coming now as well. Everyone driving backwards <laughs> <laughs> and every having to take it. Oh no. Funny play from Lucky out there. That is a clip. That's a certified clip. Probably. Yeah, Bobby making his way to first with a star, benefiting from that first shot. He's gonna build himself a little bit of a break, but we, it's gonna be interesting to see how long that matters because I think he was uh, hoping to hold that star for a little bit longer just in case yeah. of there being a second shot. Yeah, what is that? Exactly. I think he had to pop it early there because Lucky kind of slowed with the protection, so he might be out of luck if there's another shot. Try but I believe he still has triple shrooms at first. Mm hmm. Yeah, I see Greg breaking up into second place as well. Oh if he has shrooms in the pool, and the line. blue. 
We'll see. It looks like someone tried to back out. I'm not sure if Bobby or Grant. I'm back. pretty sure. I'm switching to Cohn. I'm pretty sure he gets the first place out oh, of this. Oh, Cohn is chilling. Yoshi oh, has deep hole. Ooh, maybe. Nice. I own it with another first. I need to keep an eye on him. Mm -hmm. And Cohn making his way back up as well. I'm not sure where he is overall. I guess last right now, but still like 110 races left. I want to check um, Iona's standing prior to the DC real quick. I'm going to put that in staff chat so I don't have to scroll up yeah. so many times. Mm -hmm. New cup? Oh no, that was the new cup. Okay, I'll, yeah, Iona was fourth overall. So he is also, he's up 15 on Gyarados with, or for the DC, so. <laughs> in Berta opting to skip DP3 completely <laughs> here. I kind of respect this decision. <laughs> he keeps he saying he doesn't notice, but he's done it three times already. Let's hope those again. Oh my god. Lord. <laughs> I mean, how many races have we played? Like, 20 races, only a 60 point gap in the pack isn't like the craziest thing so everyone's still in it oh for sure for sure it'll be interesting to see how people play dp3 as well whether they opt to run or go for the bagging strides mm -hmm. it's like Cone got the lucky shroom so he'll be out early craft missing looking to mess him up a little bit though however he does go for those the hidden coins i didn't even so. know there were three coins yeah, very a lot of a lot of game knowledge. I know Cone's been around for quite some time. Mm-hmm. Oh, is Skyrim and Mario just... again actually? No, okay, it's another. Uh one else picked Mario for DP3. Very strange choice. <laughs> Former baby track. But I love the diversity. Oh, oh. you're pulling you're pulling the shock. How he's going to be able to optimize this with the amount of dodges that are in play is going to be interesting. He just rips it now, getting a lot of people out of their dodges. Yeah, and if Danny has no shock here, which is, I can't tell what he has. I think it's That's just... Golden. Yeah, he, he has yeah. just a golden. He has enough, no, gotcha. no item in second slot. Yeah. Same with RTT. You're doing a good job of making sure no one dodges with shock. Opting to chain the star. Oh, Might be a menace with the horn. Such a bad pull. I, I would have spammed the horn to get like both, but yeah. I think he's now has a pretty Either secure Bobby second. Or Greg getting a free first here. He's gonna play defensive now and just just yeah. hold on to what he can. Maybe be. I was gonna say yeah. maybe pull the, pull the horn to mess with Emery, but no. <laughs> Securing I, the third I place. Like that play. He's had a lot of bad races chained back to back right here, so he just needs points. Mm -hmm. And another one, good one for Greg. Greg and Iona both working their way up. Oh, now it's Royal Raceway time. I was say, a lot of didn't realize how many, like, quote-unquote bag-heavy or, like, practically you could just bag in the Banana Cup they were. They, yeah, they we were, were. the Nitros we were doing, they, there were a lot of runners, but, yeah, the, now that we're in the Retro, that's a lot of baggers. Oh, Banana Cup, like you said, these three in a row, just bagger. Mm-hmm. This, this track is very strange. I feel like... It's one that, at least when I was starting pre-DLC, it was quite popular in like lower divs, but I haven't really played it much in the last year. Let's say, ever since the DLC came out, I feel like this tracks kind of just moved to the back in how many people pick it. There's going to be, this. you're still going to have your diehard fans who, who pick the track, but it's been weird not seeing this pop up as, up, as often as it used to. Yeah. Very pretty, but definitely one I stay away from because I really don't understand how to consistently perform on this track. It's very strange. I just always bagged and prayed. Yeah, yes, that yeah. was that was my game plan go, going into play, playing this track. But it's yeah, as you can already see, people super far back. I I used to call this the pink R Y V because it's it, I don't know, it's fun no, to run, but also like nobody nobody wins doing that. No, I'm comparing it to Valley. Gyarados getting put in the back. 
immediately because of the Nanus knife. He's going to have to throw the blue as well. He might sit at first set, however, 8th place oh. boxes. One in that ninth place Maybe box with three other people dying on the way. Oh, getting a dodge still, though. Awesome pull. Oh! Eat. Oh, it ghosting the shock. He's had, like, three shocks in the last four races here. Probably just change this into double? Yeah, yeah. Chain, the chain into double. Making sure oh, there, there was a growth star. Oh, oh, really? Looks like whoever that second Pichette is dodged up maybe has something good, but everyone else really just getting neutralized there. He might be forced to pop the star early. We're lucky with the red behind it. Which he, he is forced into the star, but this isn't a bad star spot. There's still, still quite a bit of cut potential. Very true. There is a red in third, though. We'll see if he's able to get defense before it comes out. Oh, just in time. Bashes the horn. And probably Vantok securing first here. Unless yeah, something crazy happens. Gera's probably just going to play def play defensive. I, I'm assuming lag oh. kicked in. I, I'm assuming Vantox took the cut. But... Yeah, I think Vantox was that peach oh. that dodged. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I think that was Vantox that bomb, actually. Was it? it looked like it was thrown out from the back. I couldn't really tell. I thought Ventox maybe threw it against the finish line, and it bounced back. Oh, maybe it was. I didn't. I didn't even see. I wasn't. I was not locked in. I didn't expect anything to happen. Let's let's <laughs> open the chat and see. Yeah, they went in chat to see where that bomb came from. Okay, no one is saying anything. No one's commenting on it. No, so <laughs> they don't know. Okay, it, it was <laughs> Ventox. It was Ventox. Okay. Very oh, we do go for the item. Fair enough. Huge, huge play for him. Yeah. I mean, that, I mean, not that. I guess he hurt Gyarados, who's MVP. So that's a good play. Yeah, I honestly would be scared to break away at the, in the first. Like Gyro broke away in the first eighth of this event. Everyone's gonna kind of target you. <laughs> not like hard target you. But, you know, they know you're the person to beat right now. Yeah. Is there like the what is it? Disregarding the DC points, did see the likes of Bitter and Nietzsche uh climbing back up slowly. Only like twenty points, I believe, behind Gyarados, so of course not factoring in uh the DC points of the first two races, so Yeah. Most people being up like between ten and like twenty points on him from before. Mm-hmm. Danny triples in the pack immediately, could cause to be a little bit of a threat, but hit out immediately. Lucky I won the coins, but Emery unfortunately taking them. It's, it tends to be a good early coin strat, just going for those four wide coins, as no one really goes for them. Mm -hmm. This track, yeah. Although it is kind of insane, there are a lot of coins at the very least. Hmm. Just a lot of them in inconvenient places and in lines. So oh yeah. Like those three as well. There's a lot Not of coins, but they all lose significant amount, a significant amount of time. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> so you kind of have to hard commit to bag if you're going to get coins. Mm hmm. Kind of early shock start, start of lap two, mid midway through lap two for some races. Yeah, it doesn't really uh, affect. Out of dodging with the blue, absolutely goated pull is going to save his race. <laughs> Killing either, I'm guessing Vantox is holding first up there. Look, you're willing to back the crazy eight. I wonder how he does long have, he can hold this. He does have the ghost as well, and in the plan, which. Oh, the iconic combo. <laughs> is he going to pull it out while he's invisible? And ruin Nietzsche's day. Yep. Decided oh, he to ruined. stop there as well. <laughs> he, he committed to the scumbag plan. Yeah, I've got to. He, I've got to commit. The stream, okay. Yeah. The plan super bounce, setting him crazy far. Oh. Oh, and the nana in his line. Just oh, they're the taking Yoshira down with him. Oh, oh, the do the dodge with the ghost. Oh, Unfortunately. Nothing to really help him item-wise, though, but even even still, just being as big compared compared to the others in the top might might be able to pull him some spots, but what what did he get hit by? I think Iona mashed triple greens out yeah. in the air. 
on the right side there. That's unfortunate. Yeah, nothing he could really do there. Unless nothing I guess he could have used his bad cam, but mm -hmm. still, he was tr he went right to stay safe, and Iona was already there for triples. I think Vantox got first again. I'm not sure where he is in the standings exactly, but I guess he's pretty close. Oh, he's in. Oh no, he got second. Berta got first. Okay, so Berta now in Hello. second place. Hello. 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 How's it going, boys? Wait, so I think Berta's actually Good. winning now. Let me see. Oh. Had the penalty at the beginning, remember? Oh, Berta's minus 15, and also Berta was doing not great prior to the room crash, so he was only up four on Gyarados, so yeah. And Berta was minus... Berto. Berta is minus 15 for making us crash the room. Yes. So, Wait, uh, what happened right now? Did it end? Oh, was that 24? It, yeah, that was, it was just 24. 24. Oh, nice. So we are halfway through day one right now. Uh, I'd make a graphic of the standings, but it's kind of complicated. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make the, the table. Oh, right. Yeah, like you were saying, only a mere 72 races left to decide this thing. I think. Something like that. But. Something, something like that, yeah. Now, I didn't get to ask you, who, who are you rooting for here? What am I rooting for? I'm rooting for... I always like rooting for the underdogs whenever it comes uh, to these events. So when I stole the lineup I, I i pointed and went iona he's, he's gonna do it he's gonna win that's that was my that's i don't know that's who i want to win too i think greg is technically the most underdog i think he is the lowest ranked here and he is still in the pack there so maybe we can see him come up and surprise everyone yeah i, I just definitely... played a 2v2 with greg yesterday so he's kind of low that he was ending ending up mm -hmm. in my room yeah yeah, if you played with the casters, you're pretty low. <laughs> Most definitely. I was gonna say if you if you manage to play with one of us, just scrubs that was wasn't even allowed to sign up. Then yeah, the casting because we couldn't play. Unlucky. Unfortunate. I am I'm, I'm kind of surprised by by some of these results as well. I expected Vantox to have a little bit of a better start, but maybe he'll, maybe he'll do better in the second half as we go into the as we go into the Leaf Cup. Yeah, I'm uh, sure once we get here, we'll see the separation grow a little bit. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he's definitely someone I thought would be closer to top three. No, uh, definitely. Yeah. Do we know who's host uh, for Rumor? Is it just Gyarados? Gyarados. I'm yeah. Guessing. And uh, I'm pretty sure they it's are. It's right rigged now. in his favor. He gets the best runner in the game. In our dubs, very yeah, true. maybe Gyro like planned the, the break at this point, so he gets first on our dubs. Yeah. yeah, very true, very true. I think it's some sort of collusion. He might need a, a minus 15 penalty. No, for sure. Suspicious right. activity. I know we're still a few races away, but I am just super excited to see the combos on Trainbow and how crazy people go, or if they're willing to go heavy or not. I'm 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 excited for the big blue combinations, honestly, for the same reason. <laughs> Those are really the two tracks where you can go kinda of as heavy as you want and not be punished, so definitely. But now starting off the second half we have what is arguably the best runner in the game, R dubs. Yoshira being able to pull trail as well, meaning he's not able to deal with the shenanigans of the pack. However, Yoshira with a shroom, able to pull off into first. This track is really about who is who is able to outrun all the chaos that happens in the pack, yeah, and who is able to clutch onto first. Mm -hmm. Like if Iona is able to get to this cut here, he might be safe if this couple people can break away. I also want to point out Iona is doing very well while also being the only person not using Yoshi class. So. Kudos to him for that. I don't know from my knowledge is ever, ever since the wave has quite usually been a me main. Has he not? Or he? Uh, when I play with him, he's usually on. He's on me, and then he's on Yoshi. So I don't know. But yeah, I think I think he does use this a lot. Okay. Yeah. Gareth, do that, Gero, yeah. Do... I think Yoshi right? yeah. should be seen first. Oh yeah, he's chilling. Yeah, he's that like bird. Catastrophic. Realistically, he's just wanting to 
hold on, get a horn now, just because blue hasn't been. Oh, talk of the devil. Yeah. Blue. Yeah. There it is. Blue hasn't been. So. Unless there's a shock if this someone pulls it or changes here, you should have a free win. Unless I want to get some double reds. Essentially. But no, it does, it does just seem to be Yushiro and Iona uh, in yeah. top two. He misses the double, which is unfortunate. Ooh. Iona, if I Iona has... Not even... Yeah, Iona probably not even thinking to punish him if he did have a red just because of the break there. Assuming he has defense, but... Um, definitely. But even still, clean, clean and comfortable top two for Yushiro and Iona. Ooh. Um... I see, yeah, Bird and Iona getting 2-3, both who are very close to the top. Mm -hmm. And that probably moves Iona up to second there, because I think Nietzsche got last. I don't know if the difference there was between Gyarados and Iona, but they're probably within was, five points. I was going to say, uh, Iona now on 190. I don't know what Gyarados placed that race. So. He either got sixth or seventh. He got seventh. Yeah. Seven? Okay, so I think Iona would be down a uh, four at the moment. Or something like that. <laughs> it's, it's It'll be close. It, it'd Very definitely close. be close. Considering they have around 4,000 MMR between them, it's very cool to see. It's not mm -hmm. like I'm just rooting against Gyarados at this point, but... I uh, see. Bring he brings on his cast is just yeah. just to be a pit, pitchfork army. <laughs> he did too well early. Oh god, I don't know. Please don't get placed here. That could be catastrophic. Oh no! Uh -oh. No! No! We see no Iona. Hello everyone and welcome back. Dude, Iona was <laughs> only down four on you and he puts a repick. Oh my god! And the repick just it's jail time. <laughs> We, I just was having a monologue about how awesome his comeback story was. <laughs> he just had to ruin it for himself. See, we're, we're getting it out early, so it never happened again. Just like last time, you know? <laughs> yeah, you know when Bird is calling you out, you did something wrong. <laughs> Not the Bird to call out. Oh. Oh, no. Not that either. There we go. Uh, Gyarados encouraging repicks because it lets him start first every single time. <laughs> yeah, encouraging them by giving them minus minus fifteen every time. Yeah. Hey, hey, Iona was on your ass until that. Uh... That is true. That is true. I was I was really hoping for us to get a repick there. <laughs> but everyone can stay even longer on the screen. Yeah. Okay. Just... Hopefully, I got I had the screen right. Hopefully. Iberta has screen. We were. I thought with the I, table we were finally standardized and could talk about the score, but of course it's fucked up. <laughs> so, yep. someone, someone had to go and ruin the normality so of it. make a table with, with one race added to it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, wait, speaking of which, I could. I need to uh, do that. I can put, like, little. the little dashes in between so I can. Next time we can see what people have on each segment. Yes. I'm so smart. I guess maybe that is my surprise, but it really shouldn't be. Like, when you gather a group of the best Western players in the world and put them in a room, and their one job is to pick a track, you, who would think <laughs> this many times we no, have this of, issue? I, no, I was going to say, one of them's <laughs> bound to do some dumb shit. I believe <laughs> that's at least that's the sixth or seventh mispick we've had in this first quarter of the... <laughs> Yeah, it, it, we're mispicking a quarter of the races. That's fantastic. We love to see that. <laughs> These people right. spend hours on meticulous tech, but cannot click a button. It is unfortunate. <laughs> they do not understand right. how orders work. <laughs> well, I'll see you guys on the racetrack, yeah. I guess. Yeah, or well, uh, after the next repick. Yeah. Yeah, true. That is... Very unfortunate. After we were all rooting for Iona, but um, still so much time to make that penalty up, I guess. No, absolutely, yeah. Seventy-one races. <laughs> Moving on to Sherbet Land, we see we see Luckyo uh, taking a screenshot. I know this is one of Luckyo's uh, more preferred and more fa more favorite tracks uh, yeah, in the game. 
think this is his track. Yeah, I know your team picks this a lot, right? Yes, Trivi Trivial Matters does pick the pick this a lot. We do like picking it for mids and drafting spots, but we've TT'd the track so much to the point where we know some of us can even run it, so... Mm -hmm. I feel like most of the player base not a fan of this one, but the people that like it really like it. It's, it's a cheap, cheap scenario where yeah, but... the standout fans are going to love it, and then everyone else. Uh, this track's becoming more popular in mid dip with teams like uh, Yoshi, Yoshi Gang uh, picking it as well, so. Who knows? Yeah, I know. really just know what is the HTF logo. I don't know if they pick it or not. Woo, I completely forgot about the HTF logo. Lucky you're yeah. doing Lucky O things here. Come to get yeah. it first very easily. <laughs> Uh, definitely, the, sh the Shroom was able to help. Starting off back in the pack as well does help with being able to have have just a few more coins compared to his opponents, and then also being able to Shroom up as well. The blue, though, unfortunately, not going to be able to drop out unless he pulls Horn. Looking at people going to be passing him and taking the cut, so he might be stuck in like fourth or fifth here. I mean, if, if, he, if he doesn't get hit, then and pulls it all oh, unfortunately trail. Unfortunate trade with Cone, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. Now stuck in the spot where everyone is going to be hitting everyone, so. Mm -hmm. At least he has coins, though. We'll see how hard yeah. this slot for you. Definitely. All he needs to do is really just keep his distance and then maybe pull a shroom or two to pull off the cuts and at the very end, and he'll he'll be sorted, but only time will tell. See if he goes for double here. He just tries to go tight to keep space, yeah. Oh, perfect pull. Extremely lucky. Hopefully he can salvage something here. I not assume Op that there is a shot. Opting to go past the set for the better cut. Work working out in his favor, to be fair, but... Yeah. Only managing to, to secure first. Yeah, I mean... Probably gonna write something about that blue in the chat here, but... He did everything he really could that race. Yeah, most definitely. I think I usually see a shock on that track, so that was a bit surprising, but... You do get the odd, odd shockless sherbet from time to time, but no, it's it's usually riddance with at least one blue, one shock. Uh, yeah, we have a running track coming up, but it, one that tends to be quite hectic in the pack, I'd say, at least on the S turn. Uh, definitely, yeah. This, this track, for me at least, has always been a case of who's, who's able to survive all the carnage. Yeah. Past the Esther and just after lap one, really, really shows who who's going to be up there running and then who's going to be bagging. Whether Vantox or maybe even Yoshiro or Gyarados being able to take advantage uh, of the pack chaos mm -hmm. early on. Yeah, if you can get to that uh that drum after the S turn, you should be good. Almost definitely. But also one where, yeah, people that die in this early section tend to bag, so there's, I don't know, yeah, it's very good if you get a break, but also usually a shot. Yeah, I was um, about to say, I'm pretty sure he got the box in, in first. It's fortunate, and the, su and the super bounce is not, go not going his way, it's unfortunate. Probably going to be bagging from here on out, create a little bit of distance. Uh, from the this spot. Is, ooh, terrible pull. But I was gonna say is that this is honestly the runner that I personally feel the most comfortable bagging. I don't know. It seems it's not the hardest to catch up on, so I think he's, he's still chilling there. There is catch up potential oh, that's on the and the <laughs> Unfortunate pull after an unfortunate pull. See, I own up there. Oh, not in first, in second. We're gonna profit from this blue. Minimap map lag, assuming Vantox is was still in first. Yeah. Minimax. Yeah, the minimap map is lagging horribly. It looks like Iona took over first or something blue. I can't find any PUV that is like in the good spot. Maybe Yoshi <laughs> Yoshi Racer is like he's a good yeah, he's a good combo. Oh nice, yeah. Oh, he's in ghosts as well. What the when the shock comes through. Yeah, a lot of people back. 
Doesn't seem like a shock coming. Yeah, if shock was to come, it'd probably be just the oh, fall. Oh, Ventax is mad. Oh, no. Oh. Iona getting an, a, another good race, though. Basically, yeah, this race cancels out that penalty from Yeah. <laughs> Is Vantax at 11? Oh no, he got 7. Regardless, the fall from just those reds from, from Yoshira. Uh -huh. Extremely unfortunate. I believe, let's see. I wonder would be down 2 if he didn't repick. So he's down 17 on first right now. Oh yeah. Now this is a track I'm excited for. This is the kind of stuff early we were getting like Thwomp Ruin, Sweet Sweet, MC8, like... I don't know, just these random tracks we never see picked anymore that are completely competitively irrelevant. It's always fun to see top players dropped into them. I'm doing my I'm doing my best to, to keep quiet about the track in question at the moment. As I, I I am not a personal fan of this track. This oh. this is this is not the most gaming when it comes to tracks, but I can understand why people like it. Yeah, I can't really understand what people like it. Well, I mean, I'm of the mindset now where I kind of just side with any uncommon track because it's kind of just funny to see it, but, um... That is yeah, true. definitely not a, not a particularly competitive track, in my opinion. Or most anyone's opinion. Someone switched to Roy. Someone is oh. of, of the have fun. Feeling uh, that that is either Bobby or Cone over there. Not sure which. Wouldn't surprise me. It's not Cone. I mean, Oh, it's, yeah, it seems like, I don't know. I, Maybe Bobby. Don't hate it, though. I mean, when you see a track like this where dr driving is essentially irrelevant, you can kind of just have fun and do whatever. You're sure not with the greatest of balls, having to lift the ball early and getting chucked straight out of it past straight doubles as well. Set. And what I assume is one of the longest distances between sets in the game. You gotta go quite far to get another item here. That was definitely a... Uh... Still, that was early for a shock though, only on only on lap one, so gotcha. we see a second shock. Definitely expecting something around the this upcoming set on the next lap probably. Mm -hmm. Or even earlier than that to be honest. Definitely uh Mishira really needing a set though, he's not had a, he's not had a night for a long while. Oh yeah. And only getting a single there, at least he can chain. Should get something really good here though with the gap. Uh, not really, but uh, I was really hoping for a dodge there. Maybe this first set will give him some better luck. Oh, he Ooh. gets shocked into the set. I believe that was Greg's shock. Honestly, he'll take that all day. Absolutely. <laughs> Over not getting any box there. Like, not a great shot for anyone. The runners are still up there. Oh, I do see a star in second. But... Oh, the plant. Absolutely unfortunate. This bottom four box now. Not even bottom four box. He's, he's gonna really go pray that he pulls triple shrooms, but no. Oh, oh and then the Roy sitting there and stealing his set. It was oh, very like fortunate. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Honestly, Yoshira getting stayed in the back after that first shock and got absolutely nothing the entire time. I, I feel for him there. Unfortunate. Yeah, it was wrong. Very His unfortunate. Emery on the Birdo there. Gyarados MVP again in this room here. Lightning. Well, yeah. Lightning Cup. TikTok. Two strong runners to kick it off with TikTok and uh, Pranapan Slide back to back. Yeah. So. Two, two tracks I personally dread playing from a lack of skill on them, but very technical tracks. I'm sure everyone in this room is proficient. And I'm sure we'll see some good stuff. Definitely, yeah. Uh, I feel like developing breaks yeah, when you're in first, just due to driving knowledge alone, is quite easy to do on both tracks. It's just going to be a case of who is able to establish their driving knowledge um, yeah. early, alongside items in the pack as well. Yeah. As we've seen time and time again, I'm sure we'll see one to two people breaking away and the rest kind of... Uh, What's it called? The rest holding each other back. Mm -hmm. 
Emery's sticking with Roy. I thought this was just the have fun on Yoshi Valley combo, but I think Emery's committed. Yeah, and... Sure. I guess not. Oh, and we have Nietzsche on Walu Wiggler. Shout, shout out the old meta. It is... It is slightly concerning to see these people signed up to play 96 races on our Troll League up race, like, 20-something, so... Hopefully they can, uh... Stay in it for the rest of it, but, yeah. No, most definitely, yeah. I mean, regardless, <laughs> we have two days. We have two days as oh, well. Oh, true. True, they'll get a mental reset before tomorrow. I'm sure... Oh. I mean, I know I would be completely mentally exhausted if I was playing this at this point. Oh, for sure, yeah. Because this... it's... Not even regarding, um... Just these first 40, 48, it's it's around, if, if we weren't to include uh, the picking of tracks, it's around four hours just to play all the track in order on 150, so... Also, I'm sure most of these people do prefer the DLC tracks, so... I don't know, at least there's there's more tracks that are very, um, uncommon in the base game. Oh, uh, for sure, for sure. Some, unpredict some unpredictability regardless. We move on to lap 3. We see Yoshira in second. I don't know who's in first, but they've established themselves a good break. Whether Yoshira decides... Oh, Yoshira on the defensive. Drift. Missing the drift as well. Just comes in and clatters Iona. Which of the SP collateral damage, but... Oh, he might get hit again on a white good. Yoshi hit. Mm. All he wants as well, kind of hoping for invincibility mm. for the very end of the race. Oh, red here. Oh, it's gonna skip. Oh, it actually connected with Nietzsche. Fortunate. That was Bobby breaking away there. And I'm say. Pretty close to the top. Berta pulling away. As we remember, he also has a minus 15 penalty. Mm -hmm. Now that race definitely being big for Bobby. Bobby was uh, second on the table, 166 points uh, after the first 24. So I gotta see. Then there's the R dub screen. Bobby got eighth. Okay, so that doesn't really help him. I mean, regardless, being in being in first, um, going into Piranha Plants load um, might be able to establish uh, two back-to-back -back first places if he's able to pull away from the carnage that is the pack. That's very true, I hadn't really considered, yeah. Very good race to get first on, get it to chain another runner. Mm -hmm. Whereas for the rest of this cup, it's, you don't really want first on Grumble because then you start in first on Trainbow, but. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously you want first, but it doesn't give you a great advantage leading into the next race. Not particularly, no. One cup down, I think. Oh wait, not one cup because we reset. But round five to get it. Oh, we unfortunately bur burning out, I believe. Definitely unfortunate. He isn't gonna have that coin advantage in the back to um, even keep up with with some people. So it's gonna be relying more on items uh, this race is easy lucky when first uh, being able to establish a good lead at the moment yeah we're already on 10 coins doing a great job perhaps we'll get past here in the cut but it'll still be a good spot to wait out the blue side oh but it's definitely yeah uh... oh no one taking cuts he's just chilling right here Maybe it was wanting someone to take cuts so that way someone else could take blue and he could just play this dragon second. Yeah, I mean, that would have been optimal, but first is honestly pretty good in this route. Well, obviously it's good, but second is having to deal with the pressure from third and fourth a lot in this room. So. No, for sure. Double defense as well. Opting to back the green Ooh, shell. getting him as well. Neck being quite good. Very smart backstop. The girl can't really see what's coming his way at that point. Unfortunate, the blue shell coming mm -hmm. out to kind of disrupt the momentum as Lucky was going to be left defenseless after uh, the blue explosion. Yeah, and everyone cutting right there as well. 
Let's see. I don't know if anyone behind him has anything to punish him further. No, don't believe so. I mean, regardless, oh. Gyarados and Bandox not being able to punish him that much either, just with the Shroom and uh, the Green Shell, respectively. Yeah, it's really gonna come down to if he... Looks like he has a. Yeah, this top three is quite a break, so if he pulls Shroom here, he's golden. If not, he probably just gets third, so. It'd be good. He's gonna try and take out uh, Phantox with the boomerang. Um, no sure in this but it's still secure. Pretty good race here. No, um, most definitely. As we see that top pretty much that top three from lap two, pretty much developing a break and keeping their spots. Jiro securing his lead even further. I believe he got first there. Yeah, yeah he did. Even after getting backed by Lucio. Mm -hmm. But are two very strong runners now to be shaken up a little bit by a track that's a bit more beneficial for the mid pack, in my opinion. Grumble Volcano. It's kind of hard to, to run this, in my opinion, especially with how chaotic things get after the first item set. A lot of people drafting off you with how tight the track gets. Mm -hmm. An early double set, which leads into two very narrow sections. So there's a lot that can happen, but. It's not the end. It's we've, we've seen people break away and run on this track, so it yeah, can I feel like a lot of times it first can make it to that yeah that second set at the tight section. They're kind of good to go, but rarely does that pay off in the end. Most definitely, very much a, a coin toss or bagging type track a lot of the time in these um, FFA settings. Ooh, that bomb leading luck here. Pretty much from his top three spot all the way down to a bottom three spot. That would be the worst thing in the, w the world though, however. You hear with the red near him, so he's gonna up to go wide. Hey, let's see. Hack's still pretty close, but I expect usually by first set lap two, a lot of people are gonna decide. But they would rather have a dodge than kind of stay in the middle. No, I was going to say, that final set, ooh, ooh. early, uh, early, early. Grumble, Grumble Truck, I was going to say that, that final set, um, towards the very end, is an underrated broken set. You, you tend to pull some stupid things with this set. I've seen second place be quite close to first and pull triple shrooms there from out of nowhere, so... Yeah, it is very good. We just thought they pulled Chalk that one there, and... Definitely. Oh, actually, pack's closing a little bit, but still very much a chance for another shot. Uh, pack extends a little bit. No, definitely. Yeah, Red unfortunately going for Lucky. Didn't get him in the worst location though. However, getting bumped into the fire. Not optimal as he is still able to take cut. Oh, horrible pull there. But at least he's in bottom four. Hopefully, he can get a good box with this upcoming set. Preferably a dodge of some sort. He is quite close. Oh, after the blue, the pack is so tight. He's probably not going to pull anything crazy. Yeah. No, not even getting my place punks. Fortunate. See, he is able to secure himself doubles, though. Torch from Star. What you can really ask for when the pack is that tight. So. Oh, yeah. Now I'm looking at it. That was actually quite a good pull. I could see him hitting... tricks them decent here. It just really depends on how much chaos. Which that which that is usually oh, a wow. oh, oh no. no. Star bump. Really unfortunate. Looks like he was getting at least a sixth or seventh there. Still getting ninth because people dying at the last turn, but Ugh, that's rough. Grumble be just being one of those tracks that's chaotic. Just just generally at the start and at the end. Unfortunately, we thought, I thought Lucky was going to be able to capitalize, but that bump is just unfortunate. Not much you can really do about that. However, being in a bottom spot for the next track... That, yeah, we'll see how the beginning plays out. I'm. Mm -hmm. This is the track I'm most excited for in terms of combos. Not that I expect anyone to do much, but like, if I was in this room, I would go crazy with it. But I thought, your, I thought your Shiro was going to go wild, <laughs> changing up his combo, but no, just switching his glider. You know, let's see if anybody... Anybody goes anything crazy. Yeah, 
Jonas was on Mario Ink Striker for MKS and Water Park, so I'd assume at least that combo comes out. But I don't know if anyone goes full on heavy. Um, that doesn't seem to be no. Just the Robin Waluigi. <laughs> Something oh, from Luigi Ink Striker. Luigi Ink Striker. No one opting for Leaf Tires. Mm -hmm. Leaf Tires, of course, being the best wheels for anti gravity um, uh, tracks, having the highest anti gravity speed stat. Yeah, we see Iona at least switching to Ink Striker. That's what I would, yeah. Okay, a couple people. I was expecting a lot of that uh, heavy midweight Ink Striker combo. Mm -hmm. it's very good for this track while still having the mobility of the meta combos. Nah, um, most definitely, yeah. I know a lot of people were maining this pretty much when um, the post wave 4 uh, yeah. came out. A lot of ink strikers. Definitely. When um, Momocon happened last year, there was, I know, Blaze and Cinda who ended it up. I think losing by just one there were both on Luigi Ink Striker. Yeah, definitely. I know there were still some interesting combos. I remember Greg yeah. was uh, playing uh, Link, uh, Teddy, who was just now when. Kind of redundant in the meta. Very true, and even more outdated was Roberto using Mario GLA tires. Very uh, of its time. Well, definitely, yeah. Uh, JP from the <laughs> raving about the GLAs. I don't, we haven't talked about this race a lot, but Iona is able to keep first on Ink Striker. Unless he gets redded above Glider here. Oh, he is. Uh, Yoshi was going to swoop in as first and second get redded. Yeah, you're just playing that final lap very well. Oh no. Okay. I'm still retaining top three, but yeah. Is she doing exactly what he needed to? No, exactly. Is she just playing me on the end of that race very well? Playing conservative with his items and then just going aggressive yeah. when the time was right. So was able to capitalize as well on Bobby just trying to take out first place. Yeah. Was very patient, waited for it to open up at the very end there. Bobby got greedy and got punished for it. Mm-hmm. Oh Yoshi circuit. Another wonderfully irrelevant track. I love it. I'm gonna say a bit about probably when it comes to staple bagging tracks in the baseball EA, the the first two that people think about is either Cheeseland or this track. So definitely one like Royal um, had some relevancy, maybe a few years ago, but generally unheard of in the DLC era. No. Uh, even still, I think even even when Wave Two was coming out, this track was slip, just slipping more and more into obscurity. The only only real teams that I know who pick this uh, in the in the lower divisions. Yeah, definitely. Maybe that also skews my perception, but yeah, lower division. This was like the bagger. No, this was the bagger. I know this. What is it? I, you learn I about think... that bill extension, one of the first pieces of game knowledge you get, and it's. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I believe. I believe there's still like a team or two. I believe Aftermath uh, still picks this from oh, conversa go. with conversations that I've had from Dubert. So, mm -hmm. but, yeah, see, yeah. surprising. Be to run. Surprising activity though. I did, I would have expected this more on dry on dry dry, but no. Bill, ext Bill extension just proving to be just something broken that everybody wants to go for. Whether. It's now going to be a case of whether seeing people actually overbag a bit too much, allowing Bobby to head that lead as he's pretty much half a lap ahead. Yeah, I mean, this is one of the crazy <laughs> happens. Still, most people would probably say Bobby is in one of the not greatest positions in this room. So we'll see what happens here. I mean, the, someone pulling a lap on blue is quite unfortunate for him because it almost he, guarantees he was able to one. dodge the blue. He had a shroom. Oh, he was? Uh, okay, perfect. I'm just saying, yeah, with everyone at distance, it kind of guarantees another blue is coming at the end of the race. But, but yeah, if, he, if that one didn't affect him, maybe he's all good. Are we actually going to see the Yoshi circuit run, it, run in first work? Is nobody really able to capitalize Ooh, this? Oh. Great for Kong. Absolutely amazing. Oh, Yoshiro with. I, I don't oh, think that was a good shot. Like, everyone got chucked into boxes. And, everyone like... pulled. Two people pulled bills right there. Yeah. 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 Looks like someone chained, but chained the entire lobby with them. Now you see the people coming up bill extension yeah, now. The bill extension is... has uh, diminished completely. 
Yeah, and he's dead again. Yeah, Bobby. Now on our screen, unfortunately. Oh, never mind. That's just the meme. But, yeah. I think he still got at least maybe fifth, which is honestly one of your better finishes if you're running Yoshi Circuit. <laughs> oh, most definitely. Fifth place. <laughs> Fifth place after the, how much of a break he had just for it to be all taken away from the show. Gotta and respect he, it. Usually those situations, you know, you might get blued or hit by one of those bills and then you just get hit over and over. So managing to stay up there is pretty impressive. At no, least most, relatively. Yeah. Now everyone's favorite chorus. If you've played lounge, you've definitely seen this within the last couple, couple of events that you have played. Most definitely Excite Bike. Oh, Toad. Let's go. We gotta stay on t on cone for the toad POV. The toad C tripper POV, what a combo. Maybe the most over hated track in the game, I don't know. One of, most definitely. Oh, this track has stood the test of time though, even with the DLC coming out of this track, still getting picked to this day. Not really one you see in more like 6v6 settings, however, in, in settings like free-for-all, 2v2s, 3v3s, you're bound to see it every now what and then. Was it? I remember, I think when voice was around, they would pick this against us, but yeah, you don't really see it very much. Um, one that definitely, I understand people being annoyed at considering it is more or less guaranteed in 90% of your events, mm -hmm. but um, a lot of new players probably not kind of using as what you're seeing cone here do on toad the ramp strats are really most of the the driving in a calling it boring just because you trick straight but i mean i'm not saying it's not an oval but I it is it's, it's a bit overhated in my opinion it is one of one of three oval tracks and probably the the most popular oval track by far oh yeah I would also say the most interesting oval track. Yeah, it is still an oval track. I understand. Mm -hmm. I, I I never pick it, but um, I tolerate it compared no, to I tracks like MKS, which are my favorite. But I can understand that. Oh, oh yeah, blue putting in work. Blue, on no. Oh, but he's gonna get blue. Oh no, he he's dropped out in time. Yeah, it does drop out in time. However, unfortunately, being getting hit by the rang, Lucky forced to take. Uh, the blue shell there. And the rank <laughs> connecting with Toad on every throw, it seems. Putting him work, though, Boomerang. Fair play. I don't think Pack is a distance to be able to pull Shark within bottom four. We're going to have to see oh, whether. The rank. Anything comes Toad. People not piecing with Toad. They, they don't like <laughs> being memed on, I suppose. Oh, and that trail. Yeah, now Cone is perhaps molding to an extent luckily he is teaming up with Triss for this so he will not have to play tomorrow just has to make it through these uh wii u dlc cups no definitely though he's you, you'd expect them to be trying to give Triss as much as much as they can work with but no yeah yeah don't want to have to waste uh four hours of Triss's time if he has a insane deficit but um Unless Trish just goes on the most godly run of I mean, all Trish time. Trish will be the highest ranked in this room by quite a large margin, I think. So we'll see what he can do. Yeah, don't have a great grasp on the standings just because of all the... All the DCs, everything that's uh, going yeah, on. Repicks, the Iona issue. But, um... Regardless, you'll have things ironed out for day two. Yeah, yeah, we'll have a better scope on it. Hopefully, people have figured out how to not repick. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have the Maybe on that though. Only time. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. Excited to see how this plays out. I another very uncommon track, but one that I think is. Fun to drive at the very least. Uh, definitely, yeah. One of those tracks that surprised that 
Not many people understand but benefits first if they're able to take the Nesk, obviously, because it's one of the very few tracks where you do pull a double, you do get a double set uh, at yeah. the very beginning. So, I enjoy the complexity of the first third of this track. It kind of reminds me of DLC, but then if you look at the mini map, you kind of get into this sixty percent of the track that is just straight. It, it's a uh... Straight with the odd turn every yeah. now and then, but yeah, and it's a tough one because, like, like you said, the Nisk is so beneficial for first, but also like, it feels like shock or blue or both is almost inevitable at the end of this track because of its length. Like, I feel like I don't know, as someone that used uh, to pick this track as a runner after after last set, something always happens. Like, it just you can never feel Definitely, safe in the yeah. first way. Especially considering how spaced out this pack is as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, not, not factoring in uh, the minimap lag with uh, with Emery in the back. Oh, never mind, Emery's, Emery's now caught up on the minimap. But as we go as we go into lap three, it's going to be interesting to see whether people are going to be chaining dodges, um, trying to pull the shark. Gyarados is unfortunately forced into his star. I just realized we're watching Gyarados this race. Let's go. Oh, he has a ghost. Maybe he can steal. Oh, is that a blue? Never mind. No, I don't know. Able There's to pop bill. the bill. He is still able to pull some, pull some invincibility, though. So whether the, I would, whether there's benefit to the end. I bet that Kyrus at least be able to gain a couple spots here, considering that this last turn is usually pretty deadly. Let's see. Yeah, as we see, two sp two spots gained just by being able to take uh, the card. Never read that. All yeah. the way to Holy, Jeez. yeah. That that is your typical DDD ending, as I was saying earlier. A whole lot of nothing, just to everything going down. So yeah. You know, Gir Girado's just trying to establish himself within the top spots as we do see Yoshiro and Vantox uh, breaking the breaking away a little bit, both of them in the 90s. Let me see where uh, Yoshira was all the way down in 11th through the first uh, 24 races. My goat, Giro switching on Ink Striker Leafs, my... Oh, yeah. My preferred combo for the anti-gravity tracks. Yeah, I would use... Well, this, this is an actual, like... Ink Striker Leaf Track World Record, so this is this is awesome. Yeah, definitely. Uh, this being the one track I have a American top on, very important to note. Yeah, the most skill based track at third. <laughs> the, mo the, the most skill based. I mean, to be fair, I what is it? This track's been pick getting picked more and more as a recent. I'm not. I'm not too sure as to why, really? but I, I I've seen it in quite a few, quite a few events. I've had a couple lounge mates pick it. I haven't. I I mean, randomly. Like, I feel like there's one Japanese guy in our range that spams it, mm -hmm. but I don't know. I don't know. Because the thing with this track, it's so uncommon. Everyone that picks it, it's like their personality trait. Like, I know a few people that's like, they're the Mute City person. I don't know. Yeah. I, I enjoy mean, this track. Yeah. Okay. I, I mean, regardless, it did it did force me to learn, um, reteach myself NISC because I forgot how to do it. Oh, yeah. It's... It's not the hardest thing, but it's something that, like, such an uncommon track, you definitely catch a few people off guard, at least at the mid-level, who just haven't put in the the 10 minutes to learn it. Mm hmm No, yeah, we've seen quite a few people on leaves. I know Nietzsche um, also uh, has leaf tires. Um, Cone, uh, the, the full DK on, Wiggler. On DK uh, Wiggler, I believe that is, an, that is paying homage to Yoshi24 Kobe. I could be wrong, but... <laughs> He's he's one of those mute city people who I haven't played with, but I've heard he's a bit of a legend on this track. I've I've heard as well. <laughs> now, yeah, pack does seem to be quite spread out. That person in last could actually swing the tide of the race. As I don't know, there's just that one person that falls so far into last ends up usually pulling shock on this track which you don't tend yeah. to see too often but... that is something yeah if you get comboed in the back there really is no catching up on this track because no. it is all boost panels so one of the one of the hardest runners in the game definitely also but just not too many item sets to capitalize bagging on as well oh, as a lot of them true. do with the ramps you're so right yeah boost panels plus no, not a single set to stop on is kind of, yeah, any bagger's nightmare. Let's see. Especially, yeah, you also have these uh, poles here to break items on. It's, it's very convenient. 
Yeah, get rid of his triple, just pulling four reds. Uh, he's able to hold on to uh, fifth place. Ooh. The bomb being beneficial, he's able well, to this connect out. with the Vantox. Oh, I mean, regardless, Vantox is getting hit by the blue. He's, got, he's getting first, maybe? Ooh, nah, second. second. Regardless, Bobby getting getting first, and is getting second, establishing uh, his his lead again, and is back into first place. Bobby, Yoshiro, and Vantox as well, all on 90 points, uh, potentially a 100, uh, factoring in uh, the RWS race. So, Who won that race? I don't remember. <laughs> Let me look. There's... I was going to say. We, we, I know we... Iona got, like, second, but... Eh, well, people will figure it out after this, I'm sure. Okay. We, we have the general knowledge. Oh, God. It is... This is him. The, it is the certified troll track whenever yes. people think of troll tracks. It, it is it is most likely Baby Park. Yes, your cousin with 1KVR, this is his favorite track. Oh, most definitely. Little Timmy picking up the game for the first time. Yes. This is his favorite track. Anyone with, like sub 50 hours they are a baby park diehard fan i can see why i'm sure it's fun you know party setting but i know everyone in this lobby is dreading it actually maybe not some people are kind of trolling but maybe those people are enjoying this who knows are there multiple roys <laughs> in this room <laughs> i was gonna say i know i know uh emery's sure, i think right? just sticking on Roy Scooby, whether... I saw two Roy's and a Funky Kong, I could be wrong. <laughs> there is a Funky Kong on the mini-map, you and, are And two Roy's, yeah. God, this room just devolving into, into madness. What we're gonna see at the, by the span of Big Blue, I, I do not wanna... I do, but don't wanna... Yeah. <laughs> that is something. There are so many races to where you can kind of have fun in an individual race. Well, it's, this is definitely a, a test of mental fortitude, because like... You have a bad race, but then you have 70 more you have to play, so... Mm -hmm. It's just a case of trying to find a break, yeah, yeah. getting a good, a good string of runs uh, mm -hmm. in the races. That is Mario for players, not known for their mental fortitude, but we'll see who can pull it out. That is the, the comment of the year, okay. and we're only in January. Uh, Danny opting to run, Emery in first. Yeah, it looks like it's working. I haven't really paid attention to the race, but it looks like I mean, was I this mean, a shock yeah, this, list? BBP this, and blue list? BBP? This is shock. No, the, there was a blue, but Emery oh, had okay. second break. Comes but everybody... it, yeah. it wasn't able to matter. However, shock list? Baby Park. It's um, not really a, a comet. Castable right, track. <laughs> so of course, I ran into that nano. Something happened I mean, there. I was going to say, nothing really kicks off until the full lap, so. <laughs> it's like. Yoshira, um, let's see, he's up there now, but as I said, he was down quite a lot at the, the half of today, but he's probably pushed his way up into, my guess would be third or fourth overall right now. So yeah, setting no, up Yoshi himself up nicely for day two. No, most he did, definitely, he won yeah. as well, so he, um... He's in first by quite a, quite a tangible margin. Yeah, he was down around, I think... 40 something to the top guys in the first 24, but he's closed that gap probably almost completely with all of them except Gyarados. Very much. Moving from one one meme track to another sort of meme track as well as we go to Cheese Land. <laughs> another in that category of like, this was the bagger until the DLC, and it's just not a track anymore. Like, no, it's been moved pretty much just out of existence maybe still seen in in the lower divisions i'm not too sure oh maybe but like the thing is i feel like that kind of lower division track like type has kind of shifted because if you're starting now you probably you're picking more dlc than we were back in low so i don't know no most definitely no most definitely but even still just having established yeah. things like the the bagger where you know you want you want to bag you want to be pulling the shock oh, on that right i feel like Here i feel like those staples are still kept somewhat remnant in people's minds this is one of yeah the four or five tracks left of the 96 that i've yet to play in mogis if they started tracking it it's really got not consistent but oh, i honestly I gonna like say, this track. this is not gonna matter i was gonna say how, are you just down there like the final six now on that list because i've been keeping up with it's at least i think it might be like four 
I believe uh, Sunshine and Cheeseland might be the in Subway. I think are the only base game tracks I haven't played. I was I was gonna say Hop in a Mogi with me and the Sunshine thing will change. No, we see the Luigi coming. Yeah. yeah, the early shark. Uh, Nietzsche, Nietzsche getting getting into first, um, capitalizing off that early shark. However, might not work Ooh. out for him. Danny, Danny with a great good. snipe. Not he sure why he wants snipe. to be in first right now, but good for him. I mean, it was a good clip. Yeah, not sure. Yeah, maybe he's just sure. going for the clips here. Yeah, I wouldn't be bad. I'd be very surprised if anyone in this top four break ends up with a good spot this race. We'll see what happens. The bomb on four bombs. <laughs> Danny getting the short end of this game. Yeah. yeah. Now he has shrooms, which, if he's able to hold on to them, uh, might be able to capitalize uh, for the final two cuts. However, he might chain here, which I wouldn't blame him doing. No, he's up to hold on. He's in a better spot than he was in before getting double bombed. But... Ah, everyone's going to just have better items back here, though. Really going to need to not get starred here. And maybe he can clutch him in spot. No, looking to most definitely just clutch a mid spot out. Nano on the glider. That was a good job pretty good that. finish by Danny, considering he only had two shrooms in like 10th or 11th there. Nietzsche actually holding first after getting sniped by Danny there. Dang. No second shot coming into play. No, that track just definitely being reliant on the final two cards being as strong. Yeah. As they are. Uh, <laughs> the I mean, you saw it there. Wally Wiggler is objectively the best combo. <laughs> oh, of, of course, Reddit, Reddit's going to be back That's to being insane. angry about that one. Nintendo, work on your game. <laughs> Add more balance patches to it. Yes. Yeah, I can safely say that Gyarados is in first, and that's really all about all I know at the moment. It's pretty, it's pretty much the only things we have established at the moment. Gyarados is in first. Everyone else is doing everyone else things. But I've, the pack, I'm guessing, is pretty close between like two and eight at least. No, most definitely. Yeah. That's I mean, Iona's not too far behind. He just has that penalty. Mm hmm. It's holding him back, which is, which, it's unfortunate, but. Yeah, it wasn't I, even intentional. Looks like he just didn't make it in time and picked a random. No, yeah. Which is honestly just the safest thing that you can do in that scenario, and just pray that the RNG is on your side. Yeah. Quite a few people have gotten away with mispicking because it hasn't gotten chosen. Like, I know Bobby has, but Iona not getting that lucky. Moving on to another track that I feel has just fallen out of obscurity. I don't know, I just feel like the Wii U DLC, ever since the new DLC came out, just fell out into, fell into obscurity. Wild Woods. You're right, a lot of these tracks just completely overshadowed. Perch no. get lucky you're using the wild wiggler on the wild woods, but or I guess it's not the wild wiggler, but you know. Regardless, wig wiggler <laughs> in the wild woods. <laughs> um, yeah, A track that honestly, I don't know, it was pretty uncommon to begin with, but has fallen even farther down. No, uh, the team, the teams who pick it though do do really enjoy this track. It does, it does have its niche. Yeah. I'm not sure of any. Dude, Ooh, that's insane. Any, there, there. I thought for Dally sure he was annoyed with himself there. on that one. Those two shrooms, he would have been able to put himself at a brilliant spot, being able to just play the race out in first after the cut. You know, having to burn that shroom early, chaining it as well, getting another shroom. Gonna have to run into these triple. Oh, never mind. At least canceling the red with the shock there. Yoshiro looks like he's in a great spot. Yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, and Danny's race just looking. To be over is this track is really hard to catch up on. Oh yeah, definitely. God, I love that the Wiggler turns red every time he gets hit. I could not stand that if I played. I mean, it it would it would have it would have been the matter if things had stayed the same. Yeah, honestly, I feel like people would have still played Walu just because um, of you. Oh, most definitely. Yeah, but I feel like Wiggler Wiggler would have had its yeah. would have had its place. Oh, look at Yoshiro with absolute insane breakaway. Honestly, like... I think he was able to push the blue as well. Yeah, I mean... Although he was down, I believe, nearly 50 points on Gyarados going into this uh, second set of 24, he's probably... Actually, I guess he's really only even with him, so... Probably not close to first, but definitely much higher than 11th. 
Yeah, he's he's uh, definitely making a case for him to be keeping keeping your eyes on for uh, the second day as they go into DLC. Of course, not the strongest of starts for for Yoshira, but a player who can, who can definitely <laughs> do things um, oh, yeah. with within his capabilities. Now, which season? I, I I've got to ask the casters. Which season are we getting? Are we getting oh, winter. Winter. It's always winter. I have done it. My team has started picking this recently as our kind of reset bagger, and I always beg for winter and they get mad at me, but winter's just fun. I mean, if you want to bag, winter's the best bagger. Winter is the best one for bagging, especially with what spot you pick as well. Usually, yeah. to my knowledge, it's like a 1-5 or kind of mid to bottom spot reset, uh -huh. you know? I'm going to predict we have we pull summer out of the four seasons, keep it a little bit different. I love this track, like, it's one of my favorite baggers. And I appreciate that you like like the winter season. And we actually Told get you. winter. Nice. It's always winter. Winter! It, it's always been winter. <laughs> Why are we on winter? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad uh, we're all DAC enjoyers. Okay, uh, DAC is... I think DAC is one that I'm seeing have just a little bit of a revive in, in the matter. I know I, when playing Euro Cup, uh, we, um, we've been picking it. I know it's had a resurgence in my mogis because... Uh, Mitchell here spams it every race. Yeah. <laughs> Understandable. To I don't, I'm, not, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. It's a good track. It's a very good track. We see a lot of people bagging this one. Um, oh, yeah. Luck here with the triple nine is being able to establish a lead. Cone, yeah. if, if Cone was able to have that bomb in first, it might be a different story, but. Yeah. Dak already a mixed track that a lot of people prefer bagging, but when people see the snow on the ground and the decreased traction, everyone stops. So it's the pack is going to be insanely spread out. Uh, I don't know. I feel like the, there is the there is the fresh shock. I was I was going to say. I feel like the traction is just amplified. I feel like this is one of the more like slidier base game tracks. Oh yeah, like, moving through the trees and the snowman feels very difficult. Mm -hmm. I, I think the properties and the changes is for deck winter is is just because obviously there's the ramps that you see in spring and summer I think this pretty much is the same as autumn uh, where there's no ramps on either on either the beach or this little wood section mm -hmm. but it, it is just so slidey to the point where it yeah. feels like a whole new different track especially yeah since since in TTs you kind of you learn to or even just playing it you learn to drive it with n normal traction so it the difference really throws you off. No, most definitely, yeah. Just look, I think it's on its summer variant, I believe, when in TTs, regardless. Oh, that back is unfortunate for Yeah, Kern. it's summer, I'm pretty sure. Let's see if we can... oh, oh, green from last. Iona there, for some reason, has a green in last. <laughs> I, I, I would want to assume that's a crazy A of some, of some sorts. But I even, would hope yeah. so. Gyarados with another first, and Berta's up there. Cone really, really getting the short end of the stick. I don't remember what happened to make him lose his shroom he was holding, but... Crazy. No, no, Triss is gonna... Triss definitely gonna have to put in some work with the unfortunate situation with the cone. Triss is gonna drop before tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. Uh, uh, no one no one showed Triss how many points he has. <laughs> I'm kidding. Cone, uh, wait. We still have... What did we just play, Dak? Do we still have two cups left? Two cups left, yes. Oh yeah, still time for Cohen to also catch back up. No, definitely. But no, we're just gonna have to see Triss come through with 720 points <laughs> across the 48 tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, I don't doubt it. He's, I think he's... Oh, he hit Diamond 2 at some point. Which is, I don't think, something anyone else in this room has done this season. Diamante Dos. Yeah, no, I do remember seeing that on Twitter, so. Uh, right. Even if. Yeah. I know Iona's probably a bit down from the top now with that penalty, but even a, a, a close to top spot for him in this event, in this mm -hmm. long form FFA, would be huge. Yeah, definitely. I mean, anything like players at our level plays decently well in FFAs against top competition sometimes because like, you know, anything can happen in 12 races but when you're playing 96 I mean 
that's a very very good show of skill and just endurance overall no but definitely as well especially considering you have no choice of the track picks as well as you're going in order so oh, true there's nothing to do oh yeah you're playing everything it's everyone's weakness will be shown and no, people like definitely, yeah. Gyarados that have quite a lot of um quite a thorough uh, TT experience will like yeah I know most people probably haven't grinded a lot of these base game tracks especially because they're just not relevant anymore no but no definitely uh but all the carnage happening lap one uh like a bomb m many triples being pulled from the cone perspective um as as we look at warriors gold mine now which oh not able to dodge the shock which is unfortunate ground trip helping a little bit at least not definitely definitely not the track most people think of when they think of tracks that are good to catch up on but no, no. I mean, it's it's more for the track. The if you do get put in the back, it, if you do end up pulling shock, then you're able to. Yeah. You you might be able to do something, but that's more in a six v six scenario rather than FFN. Yeah, zero shortcuts, but sometimes you can get lucky with um. People tend to hit each other a lot on this track, so we'll see if that helps. Unfortunately, getting built by Emery there. Hopefully, this will bring him up and drop him off before the set here. I think he's getting just after the set. Yeah, that's um, important. Yeah. Like, I don't see any offensive items in front of him. It might be safe to kind of get some space here. No, a lot of bombs this race. Oh, and know. a horn. Oh, and nice and, job stealing the double there. Oh, and getting triples. Very, very good pull. No, very optimal pull for Cone. Yeah. He does have the horn out. We're going to be a bit yeah. of a menace. Bird up with another speaking, horn. Yoshira has another breakaway. Really, like, you see that gap close immensely with this next table. Uh, Berta pulling another horn. Oh, and getting redded for it. And, and the oh, oh. <laughs> Cone, please don't quit. Oh, Cone, please. Oh please. No. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that, I mean, I can't blame him for being a bit upset there. That was so annoying. Berta uh, pulling another horn. I guess he pulled a horn too, but like into the bomb being thrown mm -hmm. and the red, he really had nowhere to go in that situation. But they're pulling like three horns that across just the fi the final like lap end of lap two uh, yeah. on that track. That was uh, that was very rough to watch. I would have been upset in that situation. Uh, moving on now um, to a track that's just another runner. Um, SNES. Yeah. Obscure Rainbow runner in today's meta. No, for sure. The one that yeah. can work. Really, Weevil being the only player I know that picks this track. Dude, I've played I've played in Mogis with Weevil, and it's Weevil's Weevil's so good in those rooms where I feel like I I just can't get an MMR. Oh, he's he, yeah, he's used to the free two Ds. <laughs> I own a DC as well. Unfortunate, so ah, that makes a sense. Makes sense as to why Iona was all the way in the back. Mm -hmm. See how Yoshira does in first here. Because, I mean, definitely one where you can keep first, but the drafts are pretty brutal in these first couple turns. Not to mention the lag bumps as well, with how much road you have to work with as well. Kind of has to make it to that little uh, trick ramp over the gap without getting bumped to, to be safe. Still the like in the throw. Yeah. And you normally guys, don't get ready on this track. It's just well, like one of my main ones. I can't the corners a lot, but... Was he right, gonna let this just, person go, or is he gonna try to go first? Okay, now Cone just burning this room to get some distance. Not, not gonna be too much distance, though, as Yushiro was able to get those 10 coins really early, so... Uh -huh. Yeah, probably... Ooh, Cone getting up there a little bit, though. Maybe he's gonna try to back Yushiro at the set here. Actually, no, he's gonna go tight and hold his defense. Ooh! Oh. Very good back from Cone. You're here giving him the, the tight line and still getting hit there. Definitely. He falls back now into fifth place. Um, he's gonna be pulling some more defensive items, which when the when the pack they're far back and just pulls just stars, fire, all, all the offensive oh, items. Yoshira just off the track. Nothing he can do there. Now just kind of playing for shock, really, yeah. or trying really to just dodge. just training on single pulls right now. Yeah. Not a bad pull there, it's going to change. Um, really needs a build here or he kind of has nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that that's your shears race, pretty much game that match there. That's not a pull you can recover with, and even still. 
No, but you can't do that. Oh, passing one player at the very least. Phantox in last. And Iona falling off again, oh. so... Able to make up a little bit of distance, yeah. but... I'm honestly optimistic for the situation he was in. No, Still second thinking. overall in this uh, second quarter here. Mm -hmm. Get rid of I, just, I just realized away. I was muted for like... Yeah. Maybe 30 minutes or 40 minutes a or something. Few. Maybe not that long, but like a few races. We but it, it, the, funny, the funny thing is, it was just in call and not on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was Dang. only those two races. Oh, okay. Yeah, was, okay. Well, I just thought you muted because you were tired. <laughs> <laughs> because what time is it for you, too? It's, it's, uh, it's nearly 5 a.m. and for net, probably 4 a.m. I was gonna say it's nearly it's nearly four AM for me, but yeah. I have no excuse because I joined the cast halfway through after waking up from a nap. So. <laughs> let's yeah, let's shout out our stream host and casters for being awake in the middle of the night. And Vantox, I guess, is also on that time. Um, yeah. Very strange people here. But I just realized we only have six tracks to go, right? Yeah, we're almost we're already done with forty two races. Well, well, six more. Getting one that people are definitely familiar with. Ice Ice Outpost, yeah, for sure. Still one that you see with, within Lounge uh, these yeah, days. What are you getting in 6, 6v6, yeah. though? Nearly, yeah. Almost in every Mogi track for a lot of people. Nah, most definitely. Very popular with Japanese players. Even still, the Western players. N knowing what to do on this this track as well, so they're able to, they're able to capitalize when they can. Yeah, everyone in this room has probably played Ice Ice Outpost post more than they've wanted to, so <laughs> compared to some other tracks. No, definitely. Lucky, lucky you're getting bombed. Unfortunate. You're sure having to burn this room as well, not able to get the MT glider. Oh, unlucky oh, that pull out. Yeah, that was the story. Mm -hmm. Gonna be watching for the rest of this. See how much of that gap he can close, but he's playing really well. Yeah. You see Gyarados as well in the back as well, Gyarados being the only pink Yoshi, so it is gonna be a case of uh, whether Shock does get pulled uh, this race as he pulls oh, a Bill I, and I, yeah, yeah. There, there was a Shock. Gyarados has Shock, I believe. Maybe gonna wait your share out here. Yeah, I would just keep that or he's gonna chain it into that. Yeah, no, he changes it. Into dodging. That. Nice. But I think getting started right after, or no, but at least not gaining much ground. Absolutely not. That does with the bill, though. I don't particularly know where the bill spots are. He uses it at first set. Probably if he passes enough people, he'll still be able to take the double cut there, or at least secure himself an item. See if Grove pulls anything useful here. Yeah, invincibility is very good here because this is another track where extremely hectic last turn. We'll yeah, see him definitely. probably gain at least a couple spots. With how narrow these type paths are. Oh, there we go, bomb. Not not connected with anyone. Probably like, gonna, just gonna be able to oh, get there we go. all the way right on the line seven. I mean, he'll definitely take that for the spot he was in. Most definitely, yeah. Vantox being on 149. Let me check out he's doing overall. I think Vantox was. Oh, he, he was, was in. Fifth. I was so, gonna say he was in the middle of the pack. One he was down 23 on Gyarados. Oh, but then he was up. Ooh, he actually wasn't down very much. He was up 18 in the first two. Oh no, this is with that. Sorry. Um, so he was down 23, and then I don't have the R dubs thing, but um, yeah. He's, he's still definitely, he's close. He might, he's probably second. If I had to oh, guess. For sure, for sure. So we go into the final five no, races for the night. Hyrule Circuit, definitely going to be benefiting uh, the players who are starting off within the top spots. I think Danny uh, managing to get first on the ISO Outburst race. So now going to be his chance to capitalize on the on this these final five tracks so that way he can gain some points and break himself uh into the mid the middle of the middle of the table as i think he was uh yeah it was he was 10th on 145 after that first quarter so who was uh danny fathom oh gotcha oh, yeah he got a first there yeah hopefully yeah. he can come up as well i'm excited to see mm -hmm. the spread 
with this uh, first 48. Because regardless, I mean, Cohen, who I'm assuming will be last, you're going to sub him out for, at least on paper, the best player in the room. And then, I don't know, everyone else, you still have literally four normal events worth of time to make up ground. So as much That's as Gyarados great. is probably feeling good about his position right now, he's really cannot clearly cannot turn his brain off yet <laughs> no i feel like i feel like mental reset is probably going to be benefiting those players who were who were in the back going into day two whether it benefits someone like gyarados um as he's just been on constant momentum will be a different story that's that's very true yeah we'll have a full reset for people to recollect themselves if they did trail off a bit towards the end mm-hmm Green just coming in out of nowhere, finds himself in the back of the pack. He might. Tr uh, I don't know whether the pack's going to be far enough away for him to Ooh. even try and pull shock, but no, yeah. Now having to just commit to that double box. Yeah, not in a great position right now. Gonna kind of hope for something decent at this wide double. If it lets him, yeah. Oh, Star getting blessed by the Mario Kart gods again. <laughs> Star Bill, but even still, uh, Shark, Shark is disgustingly useful on this track. Just having one of the most broken sh Shark spots in the game where if... Of his, of it, after that second set, where people have to choose whether they go for the extra item at the end or whether they commit and go for the Nisk. So... Very true. Yeah, Shark would have been insane there. Still, mm -hmm. at least he's in a position to catch up here. It is no, going to run out of invincibility in this last really tight section. People tend to die. We'll see if he can avoid all the the chaos here. Looks like he he's can. Doing, doing well to do so so far. And regardless, he has the triple shrooms to recover. It looks like to be a bomb of the good. line. Perfect but, avoidance there. I mean, all Very the way recovery up. Him. See familiar faces with Birdo and Yoshi are up there. Cone securing a second. Closing his lead. Coming up on Greg and Danny there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Giro, Giro doing well to get himself into into a top spot as we go into the next track. Neo Bowser C, definitely more established as a runner and one of the more chaotic tracks with the S turn section with a lack yeah. of traction. I'm sure we'll see some triples or horns or someone getting hit there, and the whole pack kind of piling up. Honestly, wouldn't surprise me if someone drops a bomb for the oh, funny. Yeah. <laughs> Is this the last cup? This is the last cup, yes. All right. What's the name of this cup? I don't remember. Uh, I believe it's the just the Bell Cup. Bell Cup. Oh, yeah. We got Super Bell, Super Bell Subway, and Big Blue. Yes. We go Ribbon. What's the next track? Uh, uh, Ribbon. Ribbon Road after this right. one, yeah. Dude, I saw Miles was posting about all the cups. They put, like, the Moon Cup. Like, it doesn't sound real to me, but I guess that's one of the DLC cups and the Rock Cup and... They're yeah, no. So, yeah, some of the cup names are just interesting, to say, to say the least. See who come up on top. Everyone kind of just drafting into each other's trails right now. <laughs> I was gonna say Yoshiro in the with the perfect items, triple greens, just meaning he's people are gonna run into him, and he has the defense as to whether anything gets whipped out on him. I don't remember who's on white anymore, but oh, it's a uh, cone, and then Yoshira in second there. Rest in peace, the Toad City Tripper. The cone was wrapping. Yeah, it's a. Uh... Hopefully, he'll bring it back here at some point. Ah, Bogirida dying, unfortunately. Boomerang straight into a uh, plan and the shock. Ooh, definitely getting the worst end of that shock, being the first person after set. It looked like. Mm hmm. Luckily, Pack is insanely close. No, yeah. I think that shark, I think it was Berta shark, regardless. Berta making the most out of it, just climbing his way back up uh, from the S turn, which is a hard section oh. to climb up from. Great pull for Gyarados, considering the distance here. This is this invincibility is going to be so crucial, considering how close the pack is and how tight this track is. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't surprise me. Or oh, he uses it now, fair enough. Probably expecting Yashira to try and do something with the backs. He chains, only pulling four shrooms. I was probably hoping for some form of invincibility at the end, probably not being able to benefit off it on the S turn. 
Oh, the plant could actually do some damage. He might be able to catch up with oh, someone. Oh, so unfortunate. Probably taking some other people down in the bomb with his plant out there. That's... Let's see. Luckyo out there. I haven't seen his name out there in a few races, but he's pretty close. Oh, no, he's up in, in the middle there. Yeah, no. He's, he's been holding his spots in the middle, getting the yeah. good spot every now and then, but still. Definitely keeping himself afloat for day two. Mm -hmm. Bring on to now arguably probably the most technical track within the original 48 um ribbon road just how cr how crazy this track has been uh in the tt scene even oh, uh both before both before and uh after the meta changes it's been it was like a wasn't there like a one second cut before the meta and then another one after the meta or something pretty pretty much yeah That's i know insane. people people have been able to establish pace uh, crazy pace breaks uh, on this track due to the uh, blue road uh, being as wavy as it is. People, yeah. Once you hit a new trick, pace it unlocks like so much. Uh, yeah. That, when you play this in lounge, are you, do you prefer to run it or bag it? I'm more of the. I'm more of a runner on the on this track. However, shrooms can be very beneficial. Uh, more, more for two areas. That small cup right by there, and then oh, the big wow. cup right at the very end. Keep on getting all the air, Jesus. Yeah, I, I definitely lean towards bagging because I feel like a lot of chaos happens lap three, especially on those shortcut ramps. But it definitely can be run if you're fast. Oh, most definitely. Yeah. Or even, even if not running in first, just if you can get a shroom or two into the front pack, then you're, and you hope for no shock, you're in a really good spot. No, most definitely. Yeah. Yeah, as we see top four kind of get a kind of get a breakaway at the moment. Um, a lot of people in the back wouldn't wouldn't be surprising if shock is used uh, this race. We see people coming up in bells. Yeah, very common shock track. Us very mixed bag. Mm -hmm. Usually see a small pack running and then the rest towards the back. No, this track has a lot of catcher potential, and Giro pulling the items for set catcher potential. Bill Star. Yeah. Kind of cool. has a star build button on his controller open. Not gonna matter. That shock actually being kind of crucial. I think if Gero was able to dodge with the star and have that bill, he would have been in a way better position. But still has no. the time. I think that's Bobby up there. Um, I think if Bobby's still on, if Bobby's still on Red Yoshi, then yeah. Oh, or I don't know who the Red Birdo is. Or is it, one of them's Greg. One of them's Bobby. But um, looks like whoever it is dodged up there. Even the Birdo had a star in second there. They're, they might be chilling up there in top two. We'll see what happens in the pack here. Lightning striking twice with Gerudo is getting planted in the exact same spot by Emery. Two two times in a row. Two two laps back to back. The triple oh, really? green coming out. Ooh, barely yeah. staying on the ramp there. Gonna secure probably fifth here. That's why well falling off. off. Yes. Yeah, Great job. And if, yeah, Bobby and Greg holding hands in top two there. Good for them. <laughs> Greg joining the 100 club. Oh, wow. Bobby jumping up to second. 10 points above third here. I didn't even really have him on my radar, but I guess he chained a few good races. No, this, no it's been quite close uh, within. Uh, Let's see, Bobby, three, three, Bobby three, also four. around Vantox in sixth place prior to the DC, so he's also going to be way up. He's probably in the top, you know, two. He's probably in second, third, or fourth. I'm not sure exactly what it looks uh, like. But... But yeah, no, Gyarados on pace to break 200 as well, which would be very good for him if Gyarados would be able to go into day two with oh, yeah. uh, 400 points uh, under the belt. would definitely be yeah. strongly uh, for people to catch up on. I agree with that. Being the MVP of both of the first quarters is really doing them a commanding breakaway from the pack. Because I'm not even sure who's in second, but we know he's winning. Mm -hmm. Another one of the the three base tracks I have yet to play in like nearly mm -hmm. a thousand races. Um, it's a tough one. Not one of my favorite backers, but no, definitely. I, it's it's a weird one. I I've seen people run this and kind of get away with it, but mm -hmm. you you also see people who are just who bag it and also get rewarded. It's 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 quite a mixed track, but. Interesting yeah, driving deck. We'll see if yeah, running up this shroom star seems like a good play because it's just it's a weird one. Like 
it's one I'm scared to like bag in like bottom two because I feel like I might get too far back. But I like what he's doing here, just kind of staying at uh, dodge distance, but not 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 committing to being the one to pull the shock. Mm -hmm. Oh, as I say that, he immediately <laughs> pulls the shock. The cast occurs. Well, <laughs> all the cast drops. Oh my god. Oh. Just chaining it into side, understandable with the fact that he is golden in hand. However, early shock, so yeah, whether there's going to be a second second one in play. Very likely, yeah. Towards the middle or the end of lap three, we could see one, but see if he, what he decides to do or how long he decides to hold the star. I wonder if he'll try to use it in this the largest cut on the track here. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to chain everything, though, prior. Very good play there. And I'm not sure what the blue situation is, but probably going to uh, chill blue. behind Danny. Uh, blue's already been thrown. There still is oh, the okay. potential uh, for the sec. For oh, I'm going to try to break in front of Danny. Very interesting. I guess uh, probably I probably expected Danny to go for the cut, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, that's what, that is what I was thinking. Danny just not opting to go for the cut. Giro, a bit more confident with it. Maybe Danny just doesn't have the coin count for it to be beneficial. Very smart to go wide there. Danny was really um, trying to get that back off, but probably mm -hmm. getting into horn distance here, I would assume. Going to hold it just to get off this... UMT and Horn Danny. You might just go for it uh, when it comes to the cut, honestly. Yeah, that's a good spot, actually. It looks like that's exactly what he's going to do. Oh. oh, Danny getting saved will also opt to go around. Dang. And the trail as well. No, Garrett. Oh, just... and another rank. <laughs> no. He gets, Danny last, gets last. Last. Danny yeah. and Bobby, though. Bobby tied now for the second half. Did not even see did not see that coming at all with one race left we'll see uh, who the winner definitely. big definitely. blue the most competitive track going to determine the winner of the second quarter here <laughs> yeah no uh Garrett was just he, he was in such an optimal spot but i think just too many items came crashing down on him yeah the blooper honestly was kind of part of the issue there he didn't really know what was going on no that's definitely yeah and what? messes up the cut as well yeah mm -hmm. Smart on Danny, though, to go around the cut and just completely avoid the horn. Not that it even got that far because of the rank, but... All right. 47 down, one to go here in the first day of this extreme marathon of an FFA. Yeah, you're going to see many things like this happen far too often within the community, having to play pretty much six seven hours of mario kart across two days yeah probably closer to eight honestly <laughs> or seven yeah. or eight let's see did anyone choose to go awesome combo we have a, a funky, funky standard gun. bike button <laughs> and the very and a war i see a i see a wario yeah on the and another funky kong in second oh we have a few mach 8 leaf tires up there which i really appreciate yeah that's the, the true anti-gravity combo yeah so bobby what's it look this race will be the story of Bobby and Gyarados, because we aren't too sure about the overall point standings, but I know those two are fighting to win this uh, quarter here. Oh, actually, I guess considering our them. dubs. I think... Who had the more beneficial race on our dubs? I think it was... Let me, let me check it out. I guess it would be Bobby, but I'm not sure. I don't remember whether Bobby got first or not. Gyro got, was, Gyro was, got definitely seventh. Yoshira. Yeah, I know top two was Yoshiro and Iona, but I don't know who the rest was. I'm going to uh, go find it. It's so far up here. Here we go. Um, oh no, Bobby Bobby being down one point to Gyarados on that. So Gyarados is technically up one right now. Regardless, that's not a lot of a margin to be, yeah, no. to be working with. I'm getting backed. Bit, bit unfortunate for him. He doesn't really have the items as well to capitalize on the final lap of Big Blue. Blue is out. What Gyarados is back here. Like you know? Oh, oh shot. Danny has shock. Like... Danny has shock. How long he holds that ball though? So you gotta dodge Bobby there. Ooh, Cohen trying to get the fall dodge and getting it. Regardless of if that helps him, because he's in 11th, he doesn't really get small anyway. <laughs> but a yeah, very Gyar funny play for the stream. I enjoy it. We gotta respect the funny. But yeah, Gyarados in the back, extremely unfortunate. Uh, don't know well, where Bobby is. dodging in first there. Very awesome. <laughs> Vantox, oh, Cohen taking out everyone with him. Bobby getting first, dodging into first. Oh. Yeah, Danny, Danny handed him that. And Bobby, yeah, Bobby is your quarter two champion there. I was not expecting that until the last GP, really. Breaking himself into the 200 
two hundred points as well. What did well. he get last GP? It had to be at least like fifty. Uh. It was something ridiculous. He was just up there, pretty much every race. Cause he won ribbon. He won that. I don't know what he got on Super Bell, but it must have been good. Hello. What's up? Hello. Hello, Mr. Gerardos. Well, How does it feel? No one has bro broken away yet. I thought someone would be like gone by now, but it was supposed to be you. But Bobby just shat on everyone last GP. Yeah, he, he excuse did. my language. He, he went bananas, bonkers. He he, he got yeah. a little funky. Yeah, he he was down a bit, but my guess is he's in second now. Yeah, probably. Um, Iona had to tank a penalty. Unlucky. Yeah. I yep. <laughs> I mean, regardless, both you and and Bobby uh, breaking into two hundred points uh, that quarter. So, still, yeah, like in the with forty eight races left, it's it, it's not that spread out <laughs> over yeah. forty eight races. Yeah, I thought it would have been a lot more spread out. Wait, did Iona DC or did he actually score sixty? He DC. He DC. On a gold mine, I think. Gold mine. Okay, thank God. I thought he scored sixty and. 24 that would have been oh, he was scoring well before bad. the dc <laughs> uh oh we had 101 Chick. yeah he was i don't know yeah <sighs> okay it was just that gonna... easy right yeah cool all right i'll, Are you gonna I'll make try the and... table on stream or no yeah yeah i'm gonna make the table and then i'll send you guys off did you guys uh did you guys see any ridiculous plays again? Anything Cone crazy happened? Off. Cone fell off for the big blue dodge in last. That was funny. Yeah, he, <laughs> he jumped off to dodge in 11 or 12. It? Um, it worked. Yeah. I mean, for the most part, we kind of stopped talking about the races and we're just talking. So, um, what else happened? My memory is so bad. I was going to say, uh, I can't remember much of what happened because yeah, every... So every there was just there was just points in every races where everything just blew up in everybody in everybody's faces. That it was yeah, kind of everyone hard. died. That, it was that, a lot of like you avoiding mine? everything blowing up. Oh, oh <laughs> yeah. we saw Cohen's ending to Goldmine. He got he got bombed off in second and then stopped and drove backwards and then realized <laughs> Iona had DC'd, so he went back forward. <laughs> oh, uh, we saw at least beautiful. three times of Cohen giving up and driving backwards, but for the most part, like he was getting last anyway. But, Okay, uh, okay, I just need the first race now, since, uh, I put it in snap. special someone made a, a wrong pick. Oh, Wait, it... yeah, lucky it was Clip. He, um, dot, he, he dropped for blue on dry drive, like, driving around the circle. Oh, nice. That was, good. That was funny. That'll be good to see. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't fully on stream, but he tweeted it. Oh, gotcha. Ooh, Berta saying that Danny is on 40 after 48 here. Don't think that's Whoa. possible. <laughs> oh, no, we I might have see, to double check. I didn't see Berta also begging Gyarados to repick to make it closer, but <laughs> still time for that to happen. And we're also subbing in number one USA tomorrow. Yes, true. So maybe he can, he can catch up 160 points. <laughs> The Tris 720 inbound, but you didn't hear it from me. <laughs> uh, and Yoshira got first that race. Oh, Yoshira's kind of close, too. Yeah, he that was what we were talking about mainly. He Until the last GP where Bobby popped off, he he was, like, crushing that half. All right. I have the table. But he was, right. like, he was, like, Bible almost on last. Oh, nice. So first through eleventh are within a hundred and ten points, hundred and eight, I guess. And then Cone is a, a little, little bit behind that, just a little bit. Dang, but like, for how many races are left? Like, yeah, almost everyone can catch almost up. Almost everyone can win, including Tris tomorrow. If he, uh, I don't know if one hundred and sixty points is doable, but maybe he'll get like top six. Ah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised. A hundred points, maybe. But I think I think that's forty eight races, good. yeah. But yeah, even let's see. Yeah, Berta in third even with his penalty. But basically tied that with Vantox. Yeah, he is tied with Vantox, I think. Um 
Oh no, it's on 13. He's up two. Yeah. Um, yeah, wait, is the table on stream? Oh yeah, you put it. 3,906 yeah, points being scored. Yep, but well, we're missing 30 of them. <laughs> Only yeah, two so... picks in 48 races. What a great showing from our D1 players. The, the races tomorrow start at 2 p.m. Eastern time. So if you want to come back again for another long, long stream, that's when it starts. It's probably going to end around 5.15-ish. Uh, this one took about 3 hours, 15 minutes, so I'm guessing it'll be around the same. So, yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this. This will be on YouTube tomorrow morning, so if you missed any of it, you can catch it before we start again tomorrow. But... I'm going to send you guys off. Thank you guys so much for casting this. I hope Thanks you had a great time. Us. And I hope Thanks you, you had a great time as well. And... Uh...